Santa Barbara neighborhood, you're listening to 10 Drink Minimum, voted Albuquerque's number one podcast with Chris, Billy, and Smiley. Ooh, welcome. Welcome to 10 Drink Minimum. My name is Chris. Hey, what's up, guys? This is yeah. Billy. Hey, welcome to we this We did it all week's... right. We did Everything it. worked fine. <laughs> I don't know, the last couple of weeks, it's usually like, it's been kind of a nightmare on the, yeah. the, tech, the tech side. The tech side. Do we have Smiley? Look we at that, have... right on time. Okay, so everything's good? Yeah, um, so welcome to this week's Chandra. We it's kind of this little special episode we have yeah. here. Yeah, so can I, I, I guess I'll give the background to this. First, first and foremost, it's Billy's birthday. Happy Thanks, birthday, guys. Billy. 35 is the new Are you 31. 35? I thought you were 34. No, 35. Oh, okay. Everyone should, be, uh, should have been celebrating Belmas this week. In yep. honor of uh, Billy as, Belmont's birthday. As well as Billy, I want to throw out a happy birthday to my sister and my nephew. They oh, were both, the, today is also their birthday. Oh, I knew that. And then also it's uh, from Golden Girls. Betty White. Uh, Betty White's birthday. And it's James Earl Jones's birthday. It is... Uh, I think his uh, name's Darth Vader. It is fucking Jim Carrey's birthday. It is Thomas Jefferson's birthday. He doesn't count. Yeah. He's dead. You don't celebrate <laughs> dead people's birthdays. And, uh, it's if just you guys creepy. want to call in, we have a phone number, 505-750-1653. We also have a chat room you can chat with us on. Um, so I guess i got to get to the story of this. So I posted on Facebook a, um, a meme that was like basically all these old liquors – and it said, if you drank any of these, you were a juvenile delinquent. And it was basically all the different alcohols that when, when I was a kid, and one of our members of our studio audience, Steph, when she was a kid, we probably drank before we were 21. And it was like Red Dog Beer, St. Ide Special Brew, uh, the Lynchburg Lemonades. Um, the Jack Daniel whatever. What do you... Um, mine, mine was definitely like uh, oh, the fine, Mike's fine. Heart Lemonade. Mike's Heart Lemonade? Yeah. Which is weird because I've actually met Mike from Mike's Heart Lemonade. It's very odd. In Panama City Beach, Florida. Of course it was in Panama City Beach, Florida. Yeah, <laughs> right, 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 right. And so and somebody, course, my favorite. Our friend, our friend from the Porter. Oh, which is your favorite? Go ahead. Oh, okay. In, so, Mad Dog 2020. I definitely drank that before I was old enough. So a friend of our, of our show, uh, one of the singers from the Porter Draw, Russell James Pyle, uh, Check him out on Facebook. It's the plug hour. Uh, he, he was like, I dare you. I, I dare you to drink Mad Dog 2020 on the show. And Russell's homesick. He wanted to be here, but he's homesick. And I was like, done. I will definitely do that. A likely excuse, huh? Right. Well, he didn't. I can't come over and drink Am Mad Dog with you. It'll make me ill. I mean, I'm already ill. <laughs> My tummy hurts. Um, so... Today, uh, this was quite a chore. I had to, so I went to Smiley's Old Stomping Grounds, the Bird of Paradise. They had the Boone's Farm, Starberry, Strawberry Hill. I, I know they had Boone's Farm. They did Farm. not have the, the, and it's not actually called Mad Dog 2020. It's Mogan, Mogan David's David. 2020. Yeah. They, they didn't have it. I went to Smith's. They didn't have it. I went to Freeway Liquor. They didn't have it. I went to, where's one other place? Oh, uh, the Lowe's. Mm -hmm. They didn't have it. The ghetto liquor store on 4th Street that doesn't even stay open late <laughs> yeah. had it. That's kind of surprising. Actually, that's not surprising. So this is the second time we've done, like we did 40s before. Remember, you remember the 40s show? Yeah, that was good. That was a good so show. So there, there was a similar story of me buying this liquor to the 40s show. So one time, Billy and I did 40s. On, it was when it was back when we were in the old townhouse. Um, so I go to buy the 40s, and I go to the Monticello, Monte Carlo Steakhouse. Yeah, yeah. So I go to buy 40s there. I walk in, and I'm in my work clothes. I have my polo on, my slacks, and they have all of their 40s and their bombers in the same case. <clears throat> so I'm looking at them. The guy looks at me. And he goes, hey, guy, we got more bombers around the corner. And I look at him, and I go, oh, okay. <laughs> and I grab a, a 40 of OE and a 40 of Bud Light. And he kind of goes, whoa. So I walk over, and he goes, taking it back old school, I see. <laughs> and I go, yeah. And he goes, 
Right on, right on. So then today, I walk up and I have the three bottles of Mad Dog and the bottle of, Bo- of Boone's Farm. <laughs> the guy starts checking me out and he goes, buying yourself a headache, huh? <laughs> and I go, yeah, it's for this thing I'm doing, this show. And this guy walks up behind me and he goes, holy shit, I used to drink that. Man, and then he saw the Boone's Farm, and he goes, oh, man, and she used to love this shit. <laughs> Strawberry Hill. Fucking A. So, um, what, so what we have here today, can, Smiley, can you read these off here? Uh, sure thing. We have the uh, original flavor of uh, MD2020, which is red grape wine. Purple. We have the second flavor to come out in their series, which is... In this the- series. Well, no, it's the, the it's come out in series. I know the history of it, which is uh, banana red, Ooh. truly vile, disgusting. And then this came out with the, when they actually got big. Came out with like four other flavors: orange jubilee, still a classic. Wow, I didn't buy the ones I didn't pick up. Um, like Bumwine dot com. <laughs> Look at these. Uh, <laughs> there's a blueberry. Is that the bling bling blue raspberry? Uh. I think it's called Blueberry, isn't it? They have... Uh, uh, blue Raspberry. You're sorry. I'm sorry. That's the Bling Bling Blue Raspberry. There's also Dragon Fruit. That's a seasonal. They didn't have that. It's a seasonal. <laughs> and then there's Kiwi Lemon. Kiwi Lemon. Yeah. The Kiwi Lemon. That's, that's, that's a seasonal. That's a seasonal, yeah. Wow. They also have... Uh, well, I used to... I used to... Uh, I used to... This used to be my, my account when I worked at the liquor and, store. And there's also a Purple Rain. I've never seen that one. Okay. <laughs> I just oh. want to know, like, what kind of advertising these guys do. None. <laughs> I would say, like, is there, like, a billboard somewhere, like, in Cincinnati or some shit? Or, like... I don't, I don't think so. Or who it's marketed to, at least? Like, ki- like pretty much kids, right? Or, like, some... It's well, bums and kids. Okay, bums. bums. <laughs> yeah. It's bum wine, yo. I guess that's true. Like, same thing with, like, high gravity. They okay, know it, they... so I'm on bumwine.com. And they actually review bum wines. This is, this is true, actually. I've, I've yeah. seen this website. Okay. So this is a traditional Mad Dog. Uh, as, a, as majestic as the cascading waters of a drain pipe, MD 2020 is bottled by the 2020 Wine Company in Westfield, New York. This is a good place to start for the street wine rookie. But beware, this dog has a bite to back its bark. MD stands for Mogad David and is affectionately called Mad Dog 2020. You'll find this beverage as often in a bum's nest as in the rock quarry where the high school kids sneak off to drink. <laughs> very, See? Very yeah. true. This beverage is likely the most consumed of not by non-bums, but that doesn't stop any bum from drinking it. Our research indicates that MD2020 is the best of the bum wines at making you feel warm inside. Some test subjects report a slight numbing agent in the MD2020 similar to the banana pasta Banana paste that the dentist puts in your mouth before injecting it with Novocaine. Anyone that can afford a dentist should steer clear of this disaster. Available in various nauseating tropical flavors that quote your whole system like bathtub scum. Oh, peaches and cream. I forgot about that one. Oh, yeah. That one's yummy. But only the full red grape wine flavor packs the 18% wallop. What the fuck? Uh, I guess it's 18% and there's 13%. Wow, interesting. All right. So... What do you – you've never had this, right, Billy? I've never had it. What do you expect is going to happen here for you? Um, well, These I've are, had – They're all 13% now. I've had okay. the – what is it? The 12% for Locos, and this is just one above. So I imagine it's not going to be that, that harsh on, you know, yeah. the palate. I, I don't remember it. I don't remember the taste. Everyone, I don't know. Does everyone have their chasers ready? I just remember it was like – it's, <laughs> oh, it's sweet, then. It's – I would like to try the original. Okay, well, let's go with the grape. We're first. gonna start with the original. Yeah, we're gonna see how they progress. Well, you, yeah, you can't start with the tropical flavors. I don't. I think Mad Dog Twenty Twenty, like, pour me like, some booze. New, like kids now, like millennials wouldn't drink this. Oh, it's probably oh, coming yeah, they back. Do. Who knows? How do you think I used to buy this by the pallet? Do you like the fancy glass I have you putting it in? Oh, fancy! I'm not gonna drink this until we we all are ready here. I try not to even smell it before we're all done, huh? Yeah, right. It'll spoil it for you. Bumwine.com. That's wonder, a website, huh? I'm wondering if uh, 
Oh, cool. So we pr pretty much just have enough for every every bottle. See, I this is that's that, that's how we do it. This is the smaller bottle. Yeah, this is the pint. Yeah, I didn't want to get the big full ones. <laughs> those ones, those ones. I'm like, wow. I mean, that's what I used to do when I was. Oh God, it smells like vinegar. Oh, God, it smells so bad. oh, it smells like fucking vinegar. It's disgusting. Oh right. <laughs> I, that's why I said everyone yeah. has their chasers, right? Yeah, yeah. Jeez. All right. This is so, the worst of the worst. This is, this the, is original the original flavor? grape wine, grape red wine. Is it? Uh, is it? Is it still kosher? I don't know. <laughs> I've had Manischewitz. I haven't had this in a while. Well, if it isn't, then forget it. Ah, it's not kosher. <laughs> All right, let's try this. Let's try. All this. right. Bottoms up, yo. Oh, okay, wow. that was not bad. That is like sweet. That that did not bother me at all. It wow. just tastes like if you put like wine, like took and just put like a bunch of sugar in it. Yeah, it's like wine and flat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I expected a more vinegary taste. Smiley just downed it. He's like, that's over with. Yeah, oh man. I'm like, let's just get over with. Here we go. I know what it's for. It's for getting you drunk. You don't oh. sip on this crap. Whoa. <laughs> oh. If you take a big swig, that's a little rougher. Jesus. Well, here's here's the thing. It only starts tasting once you stop drinking. That's true. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't like that. It's the aftertaste <laughs> that's going to get you. It, it is that aftertaste. Like that vinegar smell hits you. I think if it didn't have that smell, it wouldn't be that bad. You know what I mean? It's mean, really sweet. Like, yeah, it's like over the, I did not expect it to be that sweet. It's like the worst wine you've ever had. Oh, yeah. It's Oh, gosh. <laughs> it is, I mean, it is, that's how you describe it, people. It is the gotta, worst wine you've ever had. So, my question is this, is like, they, it's like someone added, like, someone added simple syrup to yeah. spoiled wine. Yeah. That's exactly <laughs> what it tastes like. And it's like, the fact that you make this on purpose really, really shocks me. Well, I mean, this is probably just runoff from exactly that, spoiled yeah. wine, and they just added sugar to it. Like, well, well, see, it's weird, because like, when I was in college, the Phi Kappa Psi fraternity would have their annual Mad Dog party. And you could only bring Mad Dog. Fuck yeah. And oh it was one of the, the biggest parties of the year. Now, the thing that sucked is if you were late getting your Mad Dog, uh, you get to the store and all they would have is the fucking Lyman green shit. <laughs> There's worse like, ones. Crap. There's worse ones. The purple? I'd, I'd have the purple over the... Uh, see, we always call them color. We're like, get the red. Get the yellow. Now, see, this is a fan favorite. Uh, let's save the banana red for last. What? No, this is the second one. Oh, that's really? the second one that came out? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, then we'll do that one. This I feel like we I, I should have got all of the series, but, you know, <laughs> I, I didn't want to travel around. <laughs> Man. Okay. Let's do some of the banana red. Are you ready for the banana red? I think I'm ready. All right. Uh, now, do you really feel like, hold on. So first of all, why does it say banana and then it says red? Why isn't it like banana cherry? Um, be, I don't know. That doesn't make it right. I <laughs> it mean, made it. It made it hard when I was ordering it because okay, if you order red, that's actually the red grape wine. Okay. But if you want banana red, that that was um, <laughs> that you had to order. Oh no! Wait, yeah, this one said grape and this one said red. So it was, we okay. have, they both have red on them. Wow. See, it's, it's already starting to addle my brain. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Oh, let's okay. Let's do this. Let's, well, let's see. Um, well, do you think? Do you think you're going to be able to taste the banana? I hope you don't like bananas. Okay, and that's this, the part I'm like the most excited about. This, this is this is my um, my old manager's favorite one. Yeah. Um, he describes it as uh, tasting like death. As in, um, he used to work in a morgue, and it reminds him of formaldehyde. So just to give you an idea of what to expect here. It tastes like formaldehyde? Yes. Oh, I don't know what formaldehyde tastes like. So I, don't, I don't either. <laughs> but, right. Um, right? <laughs> because it's also one of the original flavors, it's a fan favorite. It lasted forever. It's still here. Cause people are like, That's, it's like when people come to the store and they want the crappiest vodka because they like how it tastes. And you're like, oh, you don't want to mention to them. Vodka's not supposed to taste. No. I don't know. My sister used to drink. She used to mention drinking this. Like, and she was, you know. Really? She's, you know, 10 years older than me. So you should have told her, hey. This has been around since, like, the 70s or 80s? Oh, it's been around fuck long time, man. 
Damn. That's just something if you get on, like... Oh, it was so funny. The guy today, he was like, I'm buying this. They do get better as they go along. I told him him what I was buying it for, and he goes, well, we do have Thunderbird. He goes, we do have Thunderbird over there. And I said, well, I kind of like like my stomach lining. What the fuck is Thunderbird? It's really bad. (laughs) It is the worst shit, man. I've had... It's, yeah. Worse than Steel Reserve. Oh, yeah. Thunderbird wine? You're going to barf, man. Thunderbird, man, is some nasty, think, nasty, nasty think shit. Think who it was marketed for. Well, Thunderbird. Thunderbird. Yeah. Oh. It burns. Oh. Like it, actually, oh. it actually burns. It's smiley. It'll so, get you fucked up. So we're, we're on to the banana red. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes, this is the banana red. red. the banana red. This is, this is a fan favorite. Uh, that's why it's still around. I, well, let, me, let me smell it first. Get a nice bouquet. <laughs> It does. It doesn't smell as bad as the purple shit. It doesn't have that vinegary like, like it is poured vinegar in it. All right, I'm doing this. Okay. These are too sweet. No. Whoa. Whoa. Ugh. No. It's like I don't taste any banana. What's it? Well, okay. Gross. There it is. There it is. It came late. It came oh, late. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> like if you took Ugh. some banana runs and you put them in this, now we're talking. What if you added vodka to this? Would it, would that be much better? I've done that before. Good lord, does this have? Does this say on the bottle if it has like sulfites in it or whatever it is? Contains sulfites. Mm. That's what you're concerned with drinking. <laughs> 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 I always um, thought it was interesting that they put that on the bottle. Well, yes, it does. Contains sulfites. I'm like, what is that? That's because it's a wine-based liqueur. Oh, oh, preservative. You know, I'm not. I'm not hating on this. I'm sorry. It, it, this isn't bad. It's just I. I think it's better. I, they they get better as they go along, like with each new like yeah. their their newest flavors are actually kind of yummy. Like when you, when they came out with peaches and cream, I was like, that's pretty good. Now what I do you, would what drink you, that. What do you think the test the taste testers are like at the factory? <laughs> <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> <laughs> brought in that's some good. homeless ladies here. <laughs> yeah, we got some uh, oh. immigrants here. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> no, no, you drink you for like, free. You would, drink for free. Would you like? When you get off your illegal construction site, would this? Would you like this? Would you drink this on the way? It's home? only like two dollars. Three dollars a bottle. Yeah. <laughs> Three dollars a pint. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Mix it with the strawberry. See, the strawberry hill I always remember as being really good. But I, think, I don't know. I don't know. Is it? Is it? Would it? Would people look at me weird if I brought like this to like say like a dinner party? I think you should. I think you should. <laughs> I think you should totally bring some uh, some strawberry hill, because at first glance, strawberry hill actually looks like you know. Like, it looks like a wine bottle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it is wine. <laughs> yeah, it is wine. And it, and it's be like you know I don't know wines. I asked the guy at the at the package store, at the convenience store, and he said that this is what he drinks. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I I do know that people would uh, would frown upon me when I brought this to uh, house parties. <laughs> really? What do they do if you replace the label? Ooh. Oh, shit. They'd probably be like, that's pretty good. Yeah, well, it's, okay. What is this, a nice blush? It's weird. I liked that halfway through, but at the end, I did not like it. That's when it starts tasting like formaldehyde. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. What do you call those wine tasters again? Those what? The, 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 the wine tasting dudes? Oh, or like sommeliers? So, you know, sommeliers? Yeah. There's okay. got to be YouTube videos. There has to be YouTube videos where sommeliers are trying this shit. I, I don't know. know. I, I would say that um, if you were to take, the, like you said, remove the label, put on something like, or just like a blind taste test, I think a sommelier would be like, mm, this is good. It's not bad. Really? Yeah, they did that with whiskey experts and... and Surprisingly, talk right on the microphone. Two of them were actually into. I want to say it was Jim Beam. Surprisingly, they were like, "That's actually not bad." And I think Jim Beam's fucking horrible. But yeah, poison in a glass. <laughs> Cheap yeah, wine reviewed by an Irish brewmaster, but that's not. That's not, sommelier though. I'm surprised there's not. I do. I do remember like posting something um, on Facebook. It was a total clickbait article and a YouTube video to be attached to it about sommeliers um, being fooled by cheap cheap wine. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. And it was on my wall, and I think I had one like, but I think, I don't know, I think I was being censored by, by, the, by the wine lobby. 
<laughs> by the by, big wine. <laughs> yeah, big wine. <laughs> Damn you, big wine. <laughs> Stomping down on the little guy. <laughs> so they, they, they got into my feed and, t- and made it so nobody could see it. But I was like, this is the truth, guys. Wake up, America. Wake up, America. <laughs> <laughs> Obama's <laughs> leaving office. Who's going to protect us? <laughs> well, that's actually that, that's, that's fairly common knowledge to anyone in the wine industry. You know, the tasting and tasting, it's like, whatever. That's why they actually bring the bottle to you to taste. Do you want to sell this? No. <laughs> How much does it cost to be a Miss Sommelier? Um, the the tests. Yeah. Um, couple hundred, I think, per level. Wow, levels, eh? Yeah, there's different. Oh yeah, I'm sure. I mean, if the highest level they get paid, you know, six figures probably to. God damn. I'm sure. There's only uh like the highest level uh Sommelier there is uh, there's only one in the U S. I think there's always six in the world. What's that? At the highest level? Yeah. God damn. That's crazy. And you have yeah. to be at least the third level to uh, like actually like. Start. How many hit points do you get? <laughs> well, your your liver gets like a thousand hit points can per you, level. Can, can you cast spells? I wonder if anyone's gotten laid by telling someone they've been a, they're a sommelier. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, by their fucking house and car, I'm sure. <laughs> Look at my house and car. I taste wine for a living. I'll taste your wine. Mm. Um, so what do we have left now? We have one more bottle of, of Mogan David's 2020 mm-hmm. and some Strawberry Hill. Well, let's do this. What let's is it? get what this is... done, man. I'm, I'm, I'm still, man, that, I'm feeling a little bit from those other two. Like you, you, I've, I'm actually okay. Like I'm still not, yeah. not buzzing. No. Really? <laughs> Serious? <laughs> I don't know. I just don't like sweet drinks. Yeah, the sugar part's the killer. Yeah, it's 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 too sweet and I've never I've never drink this willingly again. Really? Okay. No, if if somebody were like I was, was going to buy you a case for your birthday. Oh man. Oh, um yeah, it's the fourth it's the fourth day of Belmas, which is the day to take a lover, but I was with my family all day, so, but tomorrow's the day of family. Yeah. So, uh it's a day of simp, yeah. <laughs> So, Here, do you want? Um, it's uh. So we're switching it. To <laughs> Smiley doesn't like it. No, no. I mean, I'll I'll, I'll drink it all, man. This is the Orange Jubilee. Orange Jubilee, which makes which has a happy sound to it. <laughs> I just like the way you, I just like the way you say it, Smiley. Orange Jubilee. And here we have the Orange Jubilee. And here we have Orange Jubilee. See, I've been in a restaurant where they where they come in and they bring in their wares and they want the restaurant owner or the bar manager to try them so they can see if they'll buy it i wonder if, it, if like mad dog has a rep that comes around or how's that work uh well yeah um mad dog 2020 was my account when i was working at the uh okay at the liquor store and yeah if they had a new one they'd bring me by a bottle and rip like, it open and they'd be cut all, this open and they'd be all smiley fucking check that shit out and i'd be like all right and, and the thing about getting getting like a um, fucking and i get ripped on a bottle of it <laughs> yeah <laughs> getting liquor in the stores a rep would come by, and you you would get like like swag and like dinners. Would you would you get yeah. all that cool shit? Um, well, you got a refrigerator. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> yeah. No, Billy. Nothing like that's we'll be, ever happened. We'll be debuting. In but a, I guess I guess it's not illegal. You can just no. take as many kickbacks. As um, like, oh sure. I got uh, the TV that's in my living room. Uh, also the PS3. Uh, the the Guinness countdown clock okay. I have. So I've been drinking. I had a big bottle of vodka, some Svetka that I was, you know, I don't drink vodka, but I was, you know, I was like, well, I got to get rid of this. So, uh, I bought some Tampico and I've been mixing it and oh, that's yeah. what this tastes like. That's, it's pretty, that's a good facsimile. Yep. I'm going to try it. Tampico and orange juice or in vodka. Ugh. This, this no, is this like is the stuff. best one of all of them. This is. I told you they get better as they go along. Yeah, this is the best one of all of them. Their their fifth wave stuff is amazing. Like the peaches and cream. Fifth wave shit. What did see? There used to be a lot of. Uh, this one is isn't as sweet, but I'm, I'm still not liking it. Yeah. I remember when I was young, when I was in college, there was a lot of like, De Kuiper made a ton, of what I would call girl drinks at the time. Schnapps. Schnapps. They still do. See, and you the Kuiper makes them. like. They make all the generic schnapps. They're out there. like the schnapps king, but they had like uh, they had uh, 
Hot Damn, Hot Damn 100. Oh, yeah. Peach Schnapps. Of course. Um, and then they, did, they didn't do the bananas. No. 99 Bananas, 99. That's a different company, yeah. Okay. 99 Bananas. But De Kuiper made so many different schnapps. Oh, yeah. You get your butterscotch schnapps from them. Butterscotch. Um, then uh, they're the ones who also made, uh, um, fuck, Slow Gin. Yeah, you could get Slow Gin from them. I don't even know if you can buy Slow Gin at the store anymore. I'm pretty sure. I mean, yeah, you have to go to a liquor store. You have to go to a liquor store, store. and it's a would, and it's a seasonal drink. So really, I mean, it's like it's what, a it's a winter time drink. Like you have slow gin because I like a good slow gin fizz. You have a slow gin like during the holidays. Yeah, and that's pretty much the only time people have you bother ever had slow gin. Bother to uh, carry it. Like a, it's a it's a, a gin made from the slowberry, S L O E. Slow, and it's just a gin made by it, and then you mix it with Sprite, and it's the slow gin fizz. It's very popular. It was very popular in the South. Yeah. Slow gin fizz. In the South. Yeah. But, um, yeah, and it's also, I learned it, um, it was, a, it's a holiday drink. Yeah. Because people would only come by for oh, that's true. during the holidays. Well, like, pitch us ugh. some slow gin uh, fizz. No, 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 no. God damn. What's, what's wrong, Billy? I don't know why I'm it's fucking delicious. chugging <laughs> <laughs> now, you're, it's delicious, I know, because you're sipping on it now. I, yeah, this doesn't bother me as bad as the other ones did. And have you been using your chaser? I have not. Well, See? I can't. It's weird. I'm actually using a PBR as a chaser for this shit. Right. I would not buy any of this. I will buy it for somebody else, though. Just to be a jerk. <laughs> yeah. Well, Just I think there's every certain... time we go. Over, you know what? Every time we go over to a, like a party at Sabrina's, mm -hmm. let's bring some Mad Dog 2020. <laughs> oh, I'm down. Every time. Every time. Every time. I, I, I'm, I'm down for, for all of those. Yeah, for all those fuckheads that just help themselves. Yeah, I brought that. Go for it, dude. Take some rips off that. <laughs> <laughs> Buy like a little case of the pints. Yeah, just everyone grab one. Have at it. Oh gosh! Well, oh watch you all. Like I'm gonna go in like a diabetic coda after drinking a yeah. bottle of that. Every time I go over there, we should just buy like some to have it. And people go get anything to drink. Yeah, we got some, some Mad Dog 2020 in the in the in the wine <laughs> in the wine case over there. The wine case. Uh, I got buy like... one of those little wine fridges <laughs> that keeps everything at a certain temperature. <laughs> have like all these Boone's Farms on there. You know? <laughs> Fuck yeah, Boone's Farm dog. Keep them all hidden away in the beer fridge. Yeah, yeah. You want some? Oh, MD? yeah. Man, hell yeah, we do. <laughs> oh, man. I'm actually pretty. See, we got. There's a lot of that Boons, too. The Boons. Okay, here's the difference. The Boons cost the same amount as one of those bo little pint bottles. One of those. Yeah, but what's the, what's the I don't know. Well, the, the 13 for the Mad Dog. Okay. 7.5. Wow. Oh, shit. There's not even alcohol in there. No, 7. It's like still it's, like it's above. Wine. Like, it's, yeah. It's like above. It's, it's like a heavy Cabernet. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what a Cabernet is, guys. I'm sorry. Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet is not that. <laughs> it's, 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 yeah, it's definitely. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm like a small. Cabernet is delicious. Pish posh. Pish it's posh. A, but I'm actually I'm excited for this. This looks good because I because I, I was a big like Franzia right, fan. Right. I was a big boxed wine guy. Okay, let's vote on this. Which uh, which bottle of the Mad Dog is the best? It was the the orange. The orange Jubilee. It was, it was less sweet, still shitty, but less yeah. sweet, and I could probably have didn't have that vinegar smell. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it gets in your nose. God, Ooh. if you if you would like spill that on like say the like the fucking. Ground, uh, on your, your stomach uh, on like the linoleum <laughs> if you were to spill that you in your stomach you would just like your feet would just like stick to the ground oh, yeah. like, for, for like two years if you were to pour that in your enemy's gas tank <laughs> it might still ignite but then you know like, and um i guess uh when i was in college like the big thing was like fucking bacardi 151 it was just as much alcohol you can get in whatever um bottle you you know you know, the fucking compressed version. Of, I don't know. Yeah. It's because, like, 151 is, like, probably the most... Oh, that or Everclear, right? Everclear. Okay. Well, yeah, that was that was the thing, too. Everclear Jungle beats juice. It. You imagine getting, like... Here's what, here's what you do. Next Christmas party, we're going to take this... Some Mad Dog Orange Jubilee. 
We're going to three of them, pour it in a bowl, and then add a little Everclear to it. Just give it a little kick. <laughs> 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 All right. Some, somebody would drink it. <laughs> We're going to call it <laughs> Dynamite Punch Bowl. <laughs> I think if Malinchuk was there, he'd drink all of it. Dude, that's pretty. That's that's pretty good. <laughs> I like yeah, it. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> what's no. uh, what's that stuff we always get when you go out to uh, Clovis? Or not oh, Clovis. that uh, super tang. Super tang. That's oh, the shit. I don't even know where you buy tang at. I go to the grocery store and I never, I never see tang. I don't know Costco probably. I mean, there's some tang, but not the tang I want. I think. I think. A, neck, a good investment would be one of those like slush machines. Well, no, if we're gonna get one of those, we're gonna get the Jaeger machine. They okay. have the three bottles that go on. <laughs> Mainly because me and Smiley like Jaeger. I, I like Jaeger. I, like I don't Jaeger know why we don't drink as much Jaeger as like we it, should. Because I know uh, it's funny because everybody looks at us like like that. <laughs> I like I, it. I you love like it. it, and you like it. I. I no, it's good. It's, it's good, and so it's, good. I like I like it cold. Yeah. And, the only complaint That's I have about it... That's why we need a Jaeger machine, because it keeps it cold. Oh, really? Yeah. The only complaint I have about it is it doesn't taste enough like black licorice. Weird. I, yeah, it's the only thing, like... Because I'm not a big fan of, like, fennel or, like, black licorice in general. But I do, I do, I do love fucking Jaegermeister. Cold. cold. It's, it's delicious. You, we can get a Jaeger in fridge and put it right on top of this beer That's fridge. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> One-stop shopping. I told you this thing uh, holds uh, 16 ounces too. Yeah. So I was it was in Rio Rancho today, like doing my whole thing with my family, right? And um, so of course you know I we have a show earlier now, and they usually think of my show as at eight. So it was kind of like in a hurry to like get done with dinner because I we threw down at the buffet today, and so I was like, oh my, can I get? To, oh dang, that's awesome! I'm looking at a picture of a Jaeger. That's beautiful. <laughs> I know, right? It holds three Jaeger bottles upside down, and it has a little spigot on the front that keeps it cold. Oh, that's fucking tight. We'll get man. one for Steph for her birthday. <laughs> I bet you can get one of those. I think. Can you buy those, or do you have to like? You can buy them. Oh, okay. Look at, look at this one. Does it have to dispense Yes. Oh. I'm sure you dispense it. That's so fucking cool, man. No, so like I was, I was in kind of in a hurry to get get back um, because we have a show. I had to push back the show well an hour because I was going to do the whole family thing, and I I got to the point where like my mom was like, "Why are you in a hurry?" It's like, "Oh, I have to do the show." It's like, "Oh, your show," and so and she kind of like, "Is it like a birthday show?" And I was like, kind of, and so <laughs> she might. I don't, she knows the name of the show now, and I hope oh, no. her biggest thing, my biggest fear, is that she's listening right now. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. As we drink Mad Dog. <laughs> and swear and do all this shit. But, yeah, I think, you know, she's met. I want to say that she, she knows what the show is called. And um, she's known for a while. I just think she would be wise enough not to listen because, you know, I'm the baby. I'm her baby. And she, I, I want to say that today she might be listening. But let's hope not. Look at this one for Road to Riches. See oh, these, it's a these, travel version, these yeah. two turn upside down, and you pour the shots out of there. Oh fuck! Yeah, right here. I love the I love Jaeger, man. I'm sorry, but that's a crazy thing about us. Like when we order shots, everyone just goes straight for the whatever the Jameson or whatever. Yeah, you know what? Next time Marty's like, let's do shots. Yeah, all Jaeger. Jaeger yeah, <laughs> let's do it. I never think about that. Yeah, I never think about Jaeger. Either. I'm always like, give me something. Like, give me like a lemon drop, and the room looks at me yeah. squirrely, and I'm like. Well, they're going to look at Jaeger. you squarely when you do Jaeger, too, because everybody hates it. Everybody's <laughs> like, that's so bro. I, I'm like, no, it's not. Yes, it is. And it's disgusting. You're, you need to shut up over there. Hater. No peanut gallery. <laughs> Jaegermeister and Red Bull. Oh, yum, mm. yum. Nothing gets more hipster than that. Actually, I <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I, I, you know, I can't do Red Bull. Um, actually, I can do Red Bull because you know what? I drink fucking coffee sometimes, and uh, Red Bull actually has less caffeine than a cup of coffee. Yeah, um, I would say like the the biggest like caffeine concentration you can get right now is just a regular Starbucks coffee, and it has like yeah, as, a regular uh, regular really potent yeah yeah like the whatever the Pikes whatever it has like as much. Like I think double. I want to say double the caffeine than a Red Bull. Man, 
Do you guys want to save the the Boone's farm for the second hour? Uh, yeah. Okay. I, need, I need I need to like not. <laughs> Man, my head's like my head's like floaty. <laughs> I don't know what you know that that, that this is the thing, but like I'm like man. I need to have like oh, the yeah, insulin no, no. attack all the sugar in my body right that, now. That's what the mad dog does. That's that's why you'll see a bum just go out and chug one of these pints and be like, what are you Oh doing? God, I have like great. floaty brain right now. Uh, you guys again can call in. Uh, Seven five zero one six five three. What what used to get you drunk when you were young? Um, I would. I. It's weird finding out like when they no longer sell things like Red Dog beer. I was kind of like bummed. I was like, oh no way. Discontinued for a while. I liked Red Dog beer actually, and um, when I was in college, we would travel to the base and get kegs for parties. And I'm I'm not gonna lie. This happens sometimes. Can I have one too? What would happen is is they would send us with enough money to buy a, a Bud Light keg, which was about, at the time, $65. $65, $70. No, 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 I'm sorry, around $75. That sounds about right. If you had a shell. Yeah. So you take a shell, you go out there, because I always had a shell, so I always had to go. Um, but, you know, we'd get out there. If they had a Red Dog keg... Um, you could pretty much take that, buy it. They were about forty, forty-five dollars. That's cheap, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, a whole half barrel for forty-five dollars. Yeah. That's like a hundred beers or whatever. One hundred twelve, I want to say. Oh, no, it's more than that. Yeah, no, it's. it's I think it's more it's, than that. It's a keg, you know. Yeah, it's a yeah, oh, a yeah, half yeah, barrel, half yeah, barrel. big half barrel. Um, so you know they expect you know they gave us like seventy-five bucks, so we'd buy the red dog for forty-five dollars. And then we would ask the people if we could have the one of the tops off of the Bud Light, mm-hmm. and then we would just put that on the Red Dog, <laughs> and you would walk in with it. And I mean, every once in a while, someone would be like, "Is this? Are you sure this is Bud Light?" And you're like, "Yeah, it was what the top was." <laughs> <laughs> and we would split the 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 the, 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 the profit. <laughs> Dude, to drive to base from from Portales was. 45 minutes back there and back, probably? To the base? No, it's like 20 minutes. Oh, there and back. Oh, yeah. It's okay, about 45. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you still have to get to the BX. Oh, and yeah. And you still yeah. have to buy it. You still have to have somebody lift it in the car for you because they won't let you do it unless you just, you know, wait until they don't look and do it yourself, uh-huh. which I did. And then they gave me, they, they didn't get mad. They, they gave me a job application. <laughs> like, you looking for a job? I was like, no. <laughs> But pretty much, no one ever like complained. They would drink the Red Dog and go home drunk, <laughs> you know, because you would charge at the door too, five yeah. bucks. Damn, five bucks all you could drink. Then you would get enough money, go get another one. Check it out. Mad Dog has a uh, fine location near you where they sell Mad Dog. Oh, it does. No, okay, now I feel <laughs> stupid. Oh. Is, Mr. Internet over here. I don't fucking look at that. Oh but, um, well, that's that's good that they have that kind of um, like technology, said, technology and marketing and like for a bus. well, for for something that's hard to find. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like you said, you have five locations. They're like, okay, well, there's currently only three. All of a sudden, they just had a ping. They go, someone used our internet, our our website. We had someone <clears throat> on our website today. Oh my god! Can you imagine if, like, say, like this, so, this episode got to Mad Dog. Your microphones and yeah, um, there you, go. you know. And of course, we're talking shit about it, but they would. would they I'm like, talking shit. I'm not talking shit about it. You know. I was. I'm. The thing is, I, I'm totally ruining our sponsorship with Mad Dog right now. But oh, I'm, no, <laughs> no. I, I think Smiley and I are right on board with it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you want to throw us some t-shirt, dude? I want a Mad Dog 2020 t-shirt right now. Hell yeah! Hell, I want one. Make mine peaches and cream, dude. That would be cool. <laughs> If they look at it as maybe like a customer complaint, and they're like, "Well, let me send, let me send you some more." Let's see you some cases of Mad Dog. <laughs> Just in case. You haven't tried all our flavors. Dude, <laughs> I, I'm buying a t-shirt. <laughs> you cannot get a t-shirt, I bet. Bullshit. Oh, shit, you can. God damn. Dude, that is awesome. Uh, so Thunderbird's a wine, too. That's the wine I would like to take to, say, like, a dinner party. Oh, you shit. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Dude, okay. I have a That's story a- about Thunderbird. Thunderbird is so terrible that um, let me pull this up. I'm trying to pull up Thunderbird wine. What it even looks like? It, it Smiley, what does it taste like? Oh, it actually burns. 
it's it's bad. It's like here you go. Yeah, there's the bottle. The bottle is even terrible. Oh my god! Wow. Yeah. So <laughs> we used to do okay when I was in college. We had activities. Oh my for, god! They have night train right next to it too. Night train is just as bad. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know Thunderbird night is. train. <laughs> Ripple, Ripple, Ooh. Thunderbird, Night Train, all that. So during the semester, we would have activities for our pledges. And, you know, they were all, like, really good activities. And then, like, one night, we just ran. For some reason, somehow, our pledge trainer fucked up, and he didn't have anything scheduled. And he didn't realize it till right before. So we sent someone to the store to buy a fucking big bottle of fucking Thunderbird. <laughs> and we made our pledges drink a bottle of Thunderbird. And we re- we we while they were drinking the Thunderbird, we read out of the Playboy like magazine and it ended up being really fun. <laughs> but not for them. It it was fun to watch like every one of them would take a swig off of it and then they'd be like, "Oh god." <laughs> <laughs> you know. It, it, I don't know. Maybe one of these shows will do a Thunderbird one, but I don't look forward to that. I don't even know where you can find that. Oh, at, this, uh, at, the at that store. <laughs> really? The guy goes, we have Thunderbird over there if you want to go ahead and add that, too. Uh, uh, oh, you're like, oh, wait, wait. I'm interested to know what Smiley drank when he was underage. So, okay, so th- if Thunderbird's that awful, so it's, I would say it, the main. Oh, it's the, gross. I mean, the main. They don't even go for flavor. Well, that's the thing. Like, if you're a kid, you go for something sweet and fruity, right? Yeah. So, p- p- kids drink Thunderbird, or is it strictly I, a wino? No, like it's bum, a wino, like a bum wine. And 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 high schoolers. I think it's it. See, it's seventeen point five percent. Oh shit! I'll get you drunk. Yeah. Oh yeah. It burns, man. It, it's not. I don't know. It's, so, it's one a, of the worst like, things I've ever drank. <laughs> I think I was still to, to this day, and you know, I'm I'm one to like kind of. I can see why people like Mad Dog. I don't understand. I, I wouldn't drink it. But there's one fucking alcoholic beverage that I don't understand why it exists. Okay. And it's fucking Steel Reserve. Why do people drink Dude, that Dude, my shit? grandfather drinks Steel Reserve. I was like, fuck, this is, like, awful. And that's, the, oh, God, can you order, like, Malort? Oh, I, dude, I would love it. Hey, can your friend at at uh, Bird of Paradise order a booze that's made only in Chicago, Malort? Um, you've asked me this before, and unless something's changed, no. Why? Because the way the liquor laws work out here, you can only order something that's carried by the distributors. Really? And the distributors don't carry that. Malort, not for the faint of heart. You you've asked me this before, and it's, it's just, they just. They don't carry it out here. It's a style of bitter, wormwood-based Swedish schnapps. All right, I already know what it tastes like. Oh. I've, had, I've had lots of wormwood. Have you ever had absinthe? No. Oh, oh it's yeah. It's fucking rough, dude. Oh, I love absinthe. Straight? Oh. Well, you don't want it straight. It'll, straight. It'll right. Burn this your is throat, this man. is a thing you drink straight, and it has abs- wormwood flavoring. I love absinthe too, and the fact that it makes you fucking woozy-headed. Man. So, yeah, I'd like to try that Malort, but um, my grandfather drinks Steel Reserve. He's 88 years old. Oh, damn. It'll get you drunk. <laughs> What's the other one, too? Like Hurricane? Uh, there's Hurricane. There's High Gravity. High Gravity. And I've, I've had them. And it's like, okay, whatever. Malt liquor. But fucking Steel Reserve. Like, I still don't fucking get it. Oh, hold on. We have a commercial for the Malort place. What? You guys want to watch it? I want to watch it. Hold on. But I heard it tastes like rubber bands, Malort. It okay. tastes, tastes okay. like rubber bands. Yeah. Let's show people at home. But here. then again, like I have a, like taste buds that aren't normal. Like there are things I can't taste. Okay. Here um, we go. Here's the Malort commercial. Hello, America. My name's Carl Jepson the Fourth. When my great-grandfather arrived in this country, he wanted to share with his neighbors in Chicago his mother's sweetest Swedish liqueur recipe. Malort! I'll have another. Actually take the shot and then say, Malort, I'll have another. Can you do that? Take the shot. Yeah, that's the tagline, so we need that in there. Okay, okay, great, okay. Hello, America. My name's Carl Jepson IV. 
Well, my great-grandfather, Carl, arrived in this country. He wanted to share with everybody his mother's sweetest, Swedish and poor recipe. And as the generations change, our promise remains the same, to make the finest Swedish liqueur in the world. Malort! I'll have another. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'll have another one. I'll have another. I'll have another. <laughs> I love this. Or tastes like vanilla ice cream. It's like driving in first class. It's like you're being picked on in the fifth grade. A line? Yes. Shot? Right. A line. I'd rather be buried in dirt. It's malort mixed with dirt. Yeah, I got it. Okay. <laughs> wow. Alright. Oh, he just threw up in his mouth. Oh. Wow. So, I, I, I don't know. So, I gotta try it. I mean, it's, it's so weird as people that we're like, alright, I wanna try this. Yeah. That it's so bad. I remember, like, when Adam used to do the show, there was a lot of different products we would always talk about. Um, and uh, we always wanted to try, you know, that would come out. And a weird one was, and I finally got to try it. I don't think Adam ever got to. Is the one that was like the anti-energy drink. It was like the opposite. And it was like slow your roll. What was it called, though? Oh, with um, the... Yeah, it was to mellow you out. Yeah, and it was like all, like, you know... Melatonin and then fucking like Valerian root. Valerian you know, root like... Yeah. What the fuck? That sounds kind of cool, actually. Slow your roll, drink. Let's see what it's called. So uh, it's a drink. <laughs> it was called drank. Drank soda. <laughs> and I got to and, try and, it. And it's alcoholic. No. Oh. No. No. It was a down. I mean. I mean. Well, you could. You know. Valerian sure. root. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. No. It's like it'll. <laughs> Rose hips, valerian root, melatonin. I had a friend that drank those at work, and I was like, what the, what? Why it's would like you do that? <laughs> God. But, you know, so it's kind of the same where it's kind of like Billy and I are like at the Malort level. <laughs> I would like to try Malort. What did you drink when you were underage, Billy? Uh, my first beer of all time was a fat tire, and I thought it was gross. <laughs> Agreed. But, you know, I, I can drink it now. Like, the new Belgian beer, I'm, I'm okay with. I'm not. They're gross. <laughs> yeah. There's, I so, think that was bad. the first time I was like, oh, my God, this is... They're weird. actually okay in the can, though. Actually, I like them on tap if I have to have them. I didn't know this the, until recently. The owner that started the brewery decided not to do it anymore and sold it to the workers. Oh, really? really? Yeah. Wow. The New Belgium. Mm. Well, that's kind of cool. Yeah, but I heard it's not as good. Oh. Which, you know. It's like, we own the place, guys. Let's fucking just do what we want. Getting drunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think Chad just peed in the fucking dis <laughs> distill. He just peed in the IPA. <laughs> Lemon IPA. No, but um, I, do, I do remember no, getting. Shandy. I don't remember what it was, but it was pretty sweet. And I do. God, there's a video of me. Yeah. At 17, or yeah, in high school, like talking into a camera drunk. And like I said, I, I would never go into politics because that video would come out eventually. Yeah, no kidding. They're like, how do we play this? I'm like, um, you have a VHS machine? They're like, a what? That'd be interesting. Oh, my God. Like, yeah. So someone out there like i don't know i i do remember taking video a lot of vi like vhs videos when i was a, a kid luckily they're all fucking gone or like in a box in my parents like you know like utility room you know but there's some embarrassing shit of me out there oh yeah oh dude i have tons i could never run for public office there's like I don't even want to say what's out there. <laughs> it's all bad. I've filmed embarrassing things. I'm in embarrassing things. You know, I'm, I'm sure someone will find something at like a, a yard sale. They're like, I found this video that you like recorded of you and there's naked women. I'm like, what? <laughs> that's not me. Wait a minute. That's me. How much do you want for it? <laughs> right. <laughs> 
God, that's that's one thing. Like, if I did win the million, the billion dollars, like one of those old people would be like, "We have this video of you, Billy." Oh it's man! Like, how much do you want for that fucking video? <laughs> I'll give you, <laughs> I'll, I'll give you two million dollars to throw that away. Wow! How, like after like the the the, the lot, someone won three people won the lottery. It went it went down to like forty million, and at that point you're just like, yeah, I don't want to play anymore. You know, it's, it's still it's, forty million dollars, right? It's it's all very exciting. It's not worth it. And the thing is, I didn't buy a lottery ticket, but now that it's over, that I I don't know. I, I think I have a better. No, you always have the same amount of odds, right? No. Oh no, it got less and less as the more money. Oh. You have better odds now. Okay. So I'm gonna start <laughs> buying some lotto. We should. I mean, it's like you go to the gas station anyway. Just throw two dollars. Just two dollars. Just throw three dollars a week at it. Well, two. Or two. Well, if you're gonna do, you can't do three. You gotta do two or four, because they're two a piece. Oh, I thought they were a dollar a piece. Nope. Well, or two dollars. Well, you, you pay Powerball, three dollars. Powerball, three. Or you can. No, he said throw three dollars a week at it. I was like, that's kind of throw four dollars. Oh, a week I thought you were doing. Well, you add an extra dollar for power play. Well, you could do that for just one number. That's true. That's what I meant by three dollars. Yeah, you get one ticket with an extra chance and. Mm. But yeah, no, they're not a dollar anymore. So, you, you do know a friend of ours won money in the last lottery. That's true. Yeah, fifty thousand. Well, it was fifty thousand dollars done through like a work pool or whatever. Some kind. He had of a work pool. pool, and they did. They they, they won fifty thousand dollars. So his cut was like thirty three hundred. Thirty five. Thirty five hundred. Is that after taxes? Uh, no. Oh, so he, you know, it's about two thousand. No. Well, do they 30, take at, like forty percent? Thirty nine percent. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Still, dude. Yeah. I'll, yeah. you know. Oh, yeah, really? Mm-hmm. That sucks to be handed $2,000. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll take $2,000 right now. Know, a lot right? of things I could use it for. That's like a third of my income for the year. <laughs> <laughs> right. No shit. <laughs> That's funny. That, to put that into perspective, what is your, what did, what, do you mind saying what your income is for the year? Last year, I made $6,000. <laughs> wow. I made $12,000 when I worked part-time at something different. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I've had years where I made six thousand dollars. No, I you know I I, had, I was I made like six six twenty five an hour, and I made twelve thousand dollars working part time. I I hope to make more this year. <laughs> really? Well, Don Schrader like he makes something like two thousand dollars a year. Really? Yeah. And doing uh, what? What does he do? I don't know. I don't know what his. Income I feel like is. he collects cans, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Steph, do you know what Don, Don Trader does for a living? No, no idea. He sells his pee for drinking? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> for people who don't know who Don Schrader is, there's a local naked cowboy man that walks around. He's like the most famous Albuquerqueian. If you've lived here you know, more than five years, you know who Don Trader is. I know he does a lot of art modeling. Really? Like if you take an art class. Oh, that's right. He does do the, uh, yeah. the naked modeling. If, if you take an art class, you're probably going to have Don Trader there. He's very tanned. He's very cut for his age. Oh, yeah. He has, like, no body fat. Yeah. Walks everywhere. Drinks his pee. Yeah, he'll, he'll be wearing, like, Daisy Dukes. Everybody and, is uh, always like, like you got to get Don Schrader on the show. And I'm like, no. No? He had his own show for years. Yeah, we watched it. We don't want that guy on the show. I'll just Can you pull Don Schrader up on, on the internet? I'm sure, you, like, on, like, YouTube you're talking about? Just anything. I'm sure you can. I mean, he does. Ha- he's like you said. He's probably top, top three f- most of famous. Don Schrader's. <laughs> there he is, Don Schrader of Albuquerque, YouTube. Don Schrader answers part one, Duke City Fix. So the Duke City Fix did a Don Schrader answers. I feel sorry for the guy who did the interview. Oh yeah, I think they just let him read. He has a wiki. No way. Mm, I want to say it was very inaccurate and got taken down by. Well, his... it's not Wikipedia. Oh. Not all wikis are Wikipedia. Wikipedia is the, the main site for wikis, but like there's you know for Star Wars there's the Wikipedia, Wikipedia, Wikipedia. I guess. I don't know. Don Schrader discography at Discog. I don't know, but uh, so. My drink of choice when I was young, and we'll finish with this, is the first. I, okay, 
I didn't drink beer. I didn't drink anything until I was uh, a senior in high school. And my parents were kind of like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Drink with your friends. And, oh, God, that's awesome. Know. Yeah, right? <laughs> and um, so I think the first thing I ever drank was Budweiser, which was gross. Yeah. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I got drunk, and my friends dropped me off. And then I, I graduated, and then well, we had this guy named Brandon. He would buy us booze, and I think we would get anything that was, like, sweet and, like, Liquory. I remember on my senior trip, we went to San Antonio, and my classmate Dylan, they took triple sec, and they basically made, uh, they took a bottle of uh, Listerine, they dumped it out, the green Listerine, mm-hmm. and they took cream de menthe and triple sec and Everclear and put it in the bottle. Oh, sounds disgusting. It was. And so we made jungle juice in our trash can <laughs> oh. in our room. And we got, like, all the guys had their own room. And so we got, you know, the girls would come up. We only had 16 kids in our class. So we drank that. So I graduated school. <clears throat> I went to Germany. Um, I, like, I, we graduated and then we had, you know, June and July. And in all of August, I, or all of July, I was in Germany for 31 days. I was learning how to drink real beer, <laughs> hard liquor. <laughs> like I was drinking tequila. I was drinking fucking uh, vodka and hard, you know, real beer. So I come back, and then the first week of school, I meet my friends, and we ha- we we paid a guy that was in our dorm. He was in our dorm, and he was 21. He was a guy that was going back to college. Nice. So we paid him, and we got a six pack of Mickey's Wide Mouth beer grenades. <laughs> nice. And a 12-pack of Red Dog beer. And we drank that shit. And I just remember we would go to the fraternity house. The first year I was in college, I didn't join anything. So me and my friend Johnny, we would always, uh, we'd always uh, um, buy 40s. And we'd, hi- we'd go to the parties, and we'd hide a 40 each behind the couch. And then we had our 40. So we'd drink a 40, and then we'd hide a 40. And it was always Mickey's. So a lot of Mickey's drinking. Huh. High to yeah. 40. I do, yeah. I do remember um, not being a really big drinker uh, when I first got into college. And uh, there was never a beer of choice for me. It was just like, because I, I did pledge um, my, my freshman year for a fraternity. And it was basically, w- uh, and their big thing was natural, natty ice. Ew. Na- 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 Ew. Na- natural light. I always thought that was terrible. And I thought it was fine, but that was the big thing, was nat- natural See, light. See, we were always Keystone light. Yeah. So we're like, yeah. So imagine the, that would be like a fraternity kind of like yeah, rivalry, rivalry thing. Like, I, re- oh, I remember cap- a 30-pack of Keystone light was $8. I don't remember that. I remember oh, yeah. I remember the cheapest we I can get uh, fucking um, natural light was like $12. Wow. For a 30-pack? Yeah. Then I remember... It went from eight dollars to eleven, and we were just like, "We can't drink anymore. <laughs> we're done drinking. Fuck this crap." But I do remember Keisha. And the thing, and the thing is, a crazy thing. Smiling, can you answer this? <coughs> How many people do you think? Because I understand it's like the just pretty much Coors Light, but it's not like it's bottom barrel stuff. Keystone Light. Yeah, they they all brew their own. So let's look it up. They were like, Keystone Light's the bottom of the... What, what's the question? So the question is, how many people, like, say, within, I'd say, in a, in a uh, what do you call it, a focus group of maybe 10 people and didn't know what they were, could you think they could tell the difference between Keystone Light and Coors Light? I would freaking hope so. I would hope so, too. It's very water. I mean, it is water. It's down. a lot different, especially, I mean, Coors Light actually, in my opinion, has a more of a robust flavor out of those light beers. Mm-hmm. Now, if you're saying like like natural yeah. light and Keystone Light. Well, Keystone Light only has little... 104 calories per can. It's the bottle beer taste in a can. Oh, wow. They have especially lined cans, so it tastes like it's in a bottle. Okay, so calorie-wise. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's, their, that's their marketing. Calorie-wise, but what's the ABV? Um... Depends on the state. I mean, it's uh, 4.13. That's fine. On, you know. And here's the thing, too. Like, I really think I can 
people. There's a Keystone keep... Dry. Ugh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> I always don't like dr- Bud Dry. Is kind of one probably yeah. like a gross. It's a gross. I drink it, but you know it's still gross. All right, let's look at Bud Light. Uh, and here's here's the thing too. Um, I cannot. It's really kind of a mystery to me why why people buy MGD Miller Genuine Draft. That's a terrible beer. Yeah. Well, no, it's, no, it's t- it tastes exactly like no, Miller High Life. I disagree. I think it has. It always gives me heartburn. So anyway, like I couldn't tell that. Like this is pretty. I would drink MGD at a party and I'm thinking this is just fucking Miller High Life. Why do is this kind of like the higher end Miller High Life? So anyway, that's my thing. And I guess that my taste buds are kind of out of whack. Oh, they they stopped. They discontinued the Budweiser American Ale. Oh, that was good. That was actually one of their better beers. Uh, they're, they're, it's it was like seven ninety nine a six pack, but it was still pretty good. <laughs> well, they got too busy discrediting microbrews, right? Or, or, or buying them, <laughs> yeah, or buying them. So anyway, that's that's that's. Well, my it says thing. Keystone Light. It was four point eleven, and it says Budweiser Light. Bud Light is four point two. How can that be? No, well, I, it also depends on the state. I always thought Keystone Light was the like the same shit as Coors Light, but no. it was just like. They, well, they're not like, oh, this is the bad Coors Light. Put it in a Keystone can. They, they can't. They, you have to have consistency. That's true. And the thing is, I, I'm all, all about like drinking the cheaper versions of shit, like the generic. I, I would call it the generic version. <laughs> so that, that Keystone was, for me, the Coors Light. Um, Miller High Life is the MGD. Well, what's weird is that Keystone actually had commercials. Oh, that's right. The bottled beer tasting the kid. Remember, they were like, bitter beer face. <laughs> yeah, that guy's face. And um, they also have, um, like, Stella Artois. It, you drink hams if you don't want to order Stella Artois because they Dude, taste the fucking same. Stella Artois was like, they're like, you know, we need to make a beer that women will be like, oh, I don't feel stupid drinking. Uh-huh. That's what I feel like about that. That beer is bullshit. And, like, that's hams. Hams is it's cheap. We get it. They make hams? Same company? I don't know, but I would say oh, that it's, hams... It's all InBev, right? Hams <laughs> taste exactly the same as a Stella Artois. Really? Yeah, yeah. That's... I, I cannot... No. No one trusts your taste buds. I don't... Really. We've got you, don't you, know who, you know who agrees with me with this, though? Fucking Dandy. And I was like, right? I don't know about that taste, Yeah. You know. <laughs> Stella Artois... I don't see that they make hams. They make Bex. They have a lot of brands. Holy shit. AB InBev. So somebody is saying that our screen is gray. So I don't know what's going on. Can you Hold on. Let's see if she can hear us. Really? I, didn't, I don't. Maybe her screen. That's what, it, that's what I'm looking at here. No. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. No, ours colorful as fuck. Hold on. I can tell you. Let me look it up. So yeah, um, that that's of course that's my opinion. But I'm saying, if you were to take a focus group and tell people, and these this is a Stella Artois, and this is a Keystone, or and this yeah. is a Hams, I'm saying like eight out of ten people would be like, oh yeah, it is. I, that's what I'm saying. Hold on, let me get to the bottom. And, I, and I'm saying, like, too, if even if you were to put the top three light beer, um, oh yeah, there we look pretty good. I'm saying, if you were to take a focus group, your screen's gray. Your screen's gray, fool. Your screen's gray. Damn, that was quick, huh? Yeah, it's no, oh, very, very little delay. But, but I'm saying, if you were to take the top three: Coors Light, Miller Light, and Bud Light, and take the average person. Not not like a beer snob, but just like an average person. Yeah. I, don't I don't know. I'll drink I, all three of these. I don't think you. There's. I don't think you can tell a difference. Coors okay. definitely tastes different. Okay. Well, let's end with that. We got to be in, in the hour. We're we're over way over time. Mm-hmm. Um. So we're gonna come back with this tease. We're gonna dip into that, and, I, and I'm I'm feeling a little buzzed. At not this point. me. I am not even. No way. Man. Well, I just, I just got off like a freaking big ass buffet dinner though. So. That's true. I haven't had much drink to eat today. <laughs> so I like, have not I, had it, much it, to eat it's, today. it's all absorbed right now from yeah. prime rib and so fucking, like, in like an hour he's going to be all <laughs> Do you feel a little buzz from this? <laughs> oh yeah. I I'm, do. I'm okay. not even buzzed at all. You? I've been drinking all day. Okay. Well, never mind. No, you, she's, you she's are... already lying down. So. Okay. 
So we're going to drink this, uh, this fifth, I mean, this uh, bottle of <laughs> Boone's, Farm. Boone's, Boone's Strawberry Hell. Strawberry Hell. <laughs> <laughs> Strawberry <laughs> Hell. Uh, we can talk so, about the, the first crappy stuff I bought. Oh, yeah. And we'll talk about the first crappy stuff, uh, stuff that Smiley bought. Um, I want to promote something. We're trying out something new this Sunday. Sunday? I'm sorry, Tuesday. I've Tuesday? been drinking. I've been drinking Tuesday. Billy, are the pints too damn high? Oh, God. I've been preaching this, um, f- God, since I guess the I guess the, the peak of – we're at the kind of the peak of the brewery craze right now. And what happened? Chris. I don't know what happened. <laughs> what happened? Someone stepped on a duck. Was pints went to five fucking dollars. Five fifty. Five fifty. And happy hour pints are fucking four dollars, which is bullshit. So now I'm super pissed off at all these breweries. The pints are too damn high. So I've, I was. I'm, I'm one preaching. Pints are too damn fucking high. And there is a savior. There's a savior. You know where? You know where the pints aren't too damn high. Where? The, where? Distillery 365. What, uh, how much are they? Tuesday nights. Two dollars. And that's it's been a long fucking time. Two dollar well, pint I'm, beer. I'm sure there there is like two dollar Tuesdays, but you know, it's gonna be like Bud Light, Miller Light, at some kind of bullshit like bro bar in the heights. Yeah. But to actually get good, good fucking craft, craft beer, beer for two dollars. Thank God for fucking Distillery 365 for doing this. I applaud them, and I think this is going to be a great trend Did for breweries. Like you, just you're because, my hero. Yeah, right? And I would say that I hope other breweries take notice. Cause yeah, man. That oh, shit. some people, whenever I put a thing, I was like, we're, you know, I was trying to dip my toe in it because I already knew the answer. Oh. Another brewery reached out. We have $3 on blah, blah, blah day, and I'm like, no, no, no. Yeah, this is already too late. Happening. Too late. Too little. Too late. Oh, no time. And that's that's cool. And, and the thing is, it's 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 fucking amazing, especially for even like downtown, which is now the new brewery district, for for someone yeah. to fucking fucking have a two dollar Tuesday, $2 on, on, Tuesday on craft local beer, which is amazing. And smile. So what we did was, is we're now gonna have the pints are too damn high. Two dollar Tuesdays at Distillery Three Sixty Five. This Tuesday, start the, we're going to try it out this Tuesday. Yep. James Smiley, we're going to have an open mic. He's going to host it. Right. It's just me hosting it. Well, I'll help you. Oh, okay. Cool. All right. I mean, you know, I'll be there. You're the main host. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> I won't be there. I'll be. A, I'll He's not going to be there at all. I like that. I'm oh, yeah. just bring this on me now. <laughs> you said you're going to be there some. I'm, this Tuesday? I'm, I'm not this Tuesday. Oh, I thought um, you were this Tuesday. No, but I, I have practiced because we do have a show, a tendering show on the 30th. Oh, at the oh new, yeah. Um, yeah, our show. Our show, yeah. Well, I've, I'm, I'm doing two things. One, I'm doing the podcast, of course, or the, 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 the internet show, Tendering Minimum. Yeah. And then I am playing for a bass for a band that I just recently joined. The Pee Wees. The Pee Wees. And they're fucking good. Nice. So, I would say you also added credibility to the band, probably. I, I Joining in. Well, they, they're, they're kind of like what I what I call like sucking my dick about the whole thing because they're like, yeah, let's get fucking Billy Belmont. And they keep texting me and it's like, you know what? I'll show up. And basically, I'm pretty much just a consultant. It's like, Billy, what, what, do, what do you think? Like Consultant bassist? Yeah. It's like, well, <laughs> ask me. It's like, so what do you, what do you think? What, 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 what do you need to do? It's like, well... Let me listen to more. Let me let me get more accustomed to the songs. Let me learn them, and then I'll let you know my input. But yeah, so far they're pretty good. Right on. So do you, so then we have we have that we have Tuesday night, we have Wednesday come out for Cards Against Humanity. We have a food truck, as far as I know, uh, Irrational Pie. They they came out last week. They did pretty well, I think. Yeah, they I sold saw some pizzas. Everyone everyone there pretty much had a pizza in front. Yeah, of Yeah, so there's pizzas. They were pretty good. Um, come out. Uh, ooh, what else? The thirtieth, um, we have a the show. The thirtieth, I have a show. The twenty fourth at Distillery yeah. Three Six Five for the Bloody Mary Sunday brunch, and then a show the twenty eighth at Tractor Brewery in Wells Park, where I will be opening. Oh no, I'm sorry, I'm headlining a show where Cassette, her name's Cassandra Grable. She'll be opening. Really? Will the pints be two dollars? No. No. But no, I'm just kidding. To 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 uh, Tractor's credit, though, they do have three dollar Happy Hour Mondays. They did point that out. They were yeah. the ones that pointed that out to me. 
until three dollars. And I went, but yeah, but a happy hour, <laughs> just on Mondays. Just on Mondays. No thanks. Not enough. Yeah, Not enough. <laughs> <laughs> Off mic. Don't don't listen. Uh, Smiley, you have anything coming up? I I do not know. I'm in between uh, dance season. Yeah. I'm Sweet. Not filming anything. So cool. No. So stick around because we are going to drink this bottle of Boone's, Boone's Farm, Farm Strawberry, Strawberry Hill. Hill. And if your screen is gray, you've had too much Mad Dog. <laughs> <laughs> you must have been following along with us. Our screens are not gray. My favorite thing is like when people go, uh, "It's all jittery," and the video didn't come in very well. And I go, "Okay." <laughs> what do you want me to do about that? I, I can't make you have faster internet. I can't make that happen. Like, like your friend said that it was great. I pulled it up on my phone, and it immediately, like, the words you said came through. I'm like, <laughs> but, pe- but I've had people go all the time. They go, um, I, they'll, they'll text me. I, I don't have video. Okay. I don't know what you want me to do for you. <laughs> Maybe you need to reset your router. I Maybe don't know. Drop Earthlink. Chris, yeah. Chris, you have a magic wand in your pocket. Just I don't know, but it, it happens more than you think. Bing. I get so many texts. I can hear audio. I just can't see you guys. Okay. Well, you have shitty internet. I don't want to say that, but that's what it is. Um, you can check us out at tinneringminimum.com. You can add us on all of the cool social media. Um, we're still The website is still a construction in progress. I'm really happy with it so far, more than I've ever been happy with the website. Yeah, it's nice. Um, I need to get something from you guys, actually. Because I added, yeah, um, bios. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. I added, well, this for sure, I added like a page. And I'm going to add all of our, do all of our bios. We'll put whatever you want. It's already almost there. It just needs your, your thing. <laughs> so, yeah, go to our website, tenderingminimum.com. It's all there. Uh, and uh, we definitely drink when we do the show. Not such shitty stuff, but you should drink as well. But always remember, never, never get, get too drunk, drunk to jerk. Tendrinkminimum.com.
Welcome back to Ten Drink Minimum. My name is Billy Belmont. James Smiley, still here. Chris, still here. I, I, um, I can make. I didn't I, die from the Mad Dog yet. <laughs> the That'll crazy thing, tomorrow okay, when we so attempt it, to wake up. It is. It is my birthday. Uh, Thirty-five is the new twenty-one. Yeah. So we are drinking Mad Dog Twenty Twenty, and I am trying for the first time Boone's Farm Strawberry Hill. And the thing is, next time, I want to go... The thing is, I, I don't remember what I drank. Yeah. It was all kind of what was given to me. Did you drink a lot of... Is Ice House still around? Yeah. Yes. I drank a lot of Ice House. Only See, because my roommate drank a lot of Ice House. Ice House and Red Dog are from the same brewery, the Plank Road Brewery that was on the Miller property. Mm. It was weird, which I don't understand how that works. It's like, it's on the Miller property, it's a different brewery. They made three beers. Maybe four, but I know they made three as far as I know. And they made Red Dog, Ice House, and Southpaw Light. Southpaw? Wow, Southpaw Light. I liked Southpaw Light. You can Um, get a four-pack of the 16-ounce Ice House for $1.99. Now, Ice House to me was always the, the enema of beers. If I drank Ice House, I had diarrhea so bad the next day. Always. (laughs) Always. <laughs> and then, Always. I, I remember this guy. His name was Tabor Parks. The Park Parks Brothers in Portales, who I worked with at the restaurants, that's what they would get every fucking week. And every night, time there was a party. Like, even I actually just come home with a four-pack. But I would say the equivalent, and I say it kind of holds true to the kind of, um, I guess, the, the cheap beer culture that's in cheap, shitty beer culture. The one who is, I hope, still the same price is the fucking um, Walgreens brand. Um, Big Flats? Big Flats. And I used to love Big Flats. I would buy a freaking case of it. It's, it was two ninety nine a six-pack, which is 50 cents yeah. beer, which is how it should be Real, when, when, yeah. you're, when you're buying it's a like, shitty beer. Like your grandfather's prices. Yeah, yeah. It was awesome. So you would buy a case and it'd be like nine bucks or whatever and you would get drunk and you would have it wasn't shitty i mean sure it was shitty but shitty in a way that <laughs> that you, you you appreciated the value of it oh okay see did you ever <laughs> drink with like your grandfather or nope see i did i did <laughs> i have my grandfather drinks some terrible shit but when i was a kid he would drink schlitz he would no, drink nothing wrong with Schlitz. Olympia. And the thing with Olympia, like their thing was, is like their slogan was like "It's the water," <laughs> which I always make the joke of, like it could be either way. Yeah, that's <laughs> is, that good? Are you, is that good? Is that bad? <laughs> Don't blame us. It's the water, or 
Oh, you like it? Oh, it's yeah, the it's, water. It's, it's the water. That's what it is, yeah. And Schlitz was the kiss of the hops. Yeah. And the thing is, like, I, I, I enjoy going to the Pacific Northwest, and their big thing is Rainier. And that fucking, oh. and it tastes exactly like fucking old Milwaukee. I don't know. It's maybe the same. And the, the cans look, the, the, it's the same color of can, different logos. But Okay. I'm, so I found, I found the South Pole Light. Their thing was, is it was a premium light beer that is double hopped. Oh, shit. <laughs> for a one-of-a-kind light beer taste that delivers more aroma, more flavor, fuller body, and a richer color appearance that is fresh, refreshingly drinkable. So that's, uh, it's, that's their excuse for having a skunk beer? Yeah. No, it was not a skunk beer. It was oh, actually okay. really good. It was, of the Plank Road, it's, it is retired. Of the Plank Road brewery beers, it was my favorite, and it was hard to find. And now Red Dog's gone, so now there's just... Ice House. Just Ice House? Wow. Well, that's weird. Let's look up the Plank Road Brewery. Plank Road? Yeah, I'm looking it up. So, uh, Smiley, you were going to tell us what you drank when you first started. All right. Ice House. Ice below freezing. Ice brewed below freezing. I remember the, um, the first time I had an opportunity to uh, have someone like pull out for me. I, was, I, was <laughs> I haven't heard that in a long time. <laughs> wow. I was, uh, I was working at 66 Diner, and I'd never, like, we, uh, me and the, my fellow Soda Fountain had been asked to go to, like, a party, like an employee awesome. party. They're like, oh, hey, let's, let's, you're invited, you guys can come to the party. And we're like, oh, really? <laughs> been like, like, a, like, asked to go to, like, a party, like an employee awesome. party. They're like, oh, hey, let's, oh, let's, what? That's you're invited, you guys can come to the party. I don't know what just happened there. That was weird. Uh, hold on. Whoops. <laughs> what the fuck is that? All right, I, I guess I fucked that up. Keep going. All right, well, um, the first time, uh, yeah, like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Hold on. Wow. Lost the feed. All right, go ahead. Sorry. Okay, are we on now? Yeah, we're good. I, I, I think I hit that and it hit pause or play or on the sound. Okay. Um, so it was, it was basically my first, like, I think it was like uh, 15 or 16. And they're like, oh, yeah, well, you know, we're going to go buy booze for the party if you guys want to, like, throw down on it. And I'd never, I'm like, I've never been an opportunity to like actually purchase alcohol. <laughs> that, that's always like you're at the pretty much mercy. Like, give us your twenty dollars, and we'll buy you two bottles of Mad Dog. <laughs> you, <know? laughs> yeah, you didn't know any better. Well, no. So <laughs> it was it was me and my buddy Daryl, and we had no idea what to get. So we were just naming things off of commercials. We all we'll get some Mike's Hard Lemonade. And oh God, I'd have punched you. <laughs> And we and we bought like way too much. We did not know like um, the amount of booze that you needed to yeah. get drunk, and so we bought like we bought like a six pack of My Cards Lemonade and a twelve pack of uh, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. Ew. And, <laughs> like, <laughs> and I think we got like a half pint of some of of like some sort of like Jameson or something. We were really just picking out things that we'd seen in Rolling Stone. Or on the television. <laughs> off some camel cigarettes. <laughs> and actually, God, that's the first, like one of the rare times I think advertising actually works. Wow. I was like, I don't, we don't know. What do we get? What do we get? We, we, I don't know. We gave them like $50. We're like, we don't know how much this costs. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll have some beef eater. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Dude, I've only seen it. Okay. Steph, do you know what beef eater is? It's, yeah. It's a gin. I've never seen it in my entire life. I have. It's I've, fucking deplorable. I've never seen anyone actually drink it, but I've only ever seen the ads. It's an English dry gin. Yeah. It's terrible. Hold it's, on. Yeah, it's pretty. And then, though the name is terrible, Beef Eater. You're going to need a slab like Chris, of beef. Chris, I know you love to eat beef. beef. Roast beef curtains. But I won't, Your favorite? Mm -hmm. But I've only ever seen it, like, you know, when you're sneaking your dad's mags. Nose deep and some roast beef. 
You know, st- <laughs> you're, you're stealing your dad's mags, right? Watch Beef Eater Gin. I'll have that. Char grilled to perfection. Oh, that's Beef Eater Grilled Steak. My bad. <laughs> Are we gonna do some of this Boone's Farm or what? Oh, yeah. And the thing is, I like, think about like especially spirits in general. There's a lot of shit. Like I'm still I'm coming into like a renaissance of actually drinking liquor. Yeah. So now I I I I, I think I have my favorite whiskey. I want to say. What do you think? What do you think is your favorite? My favorite one is uh the the, the one with the 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 fucking uh, wax on it uh, Maker's Mark. Oh, so bourbon. Yeah, so I I like I like that. Yeah, and I can see so like see so like a sweeter whiskey. Yeah, that's a bourbon. You okay, probably like rye too. you probably oh. would like rye. Good God, son! It's effervescent. <laughs> rye, you probably would. Yeah, um, scotch probably not. Well, it's not Mad Dog. Come on, man. No, I'm talking about him. <laughs> him, him <laughs> liking. Uh, uh, he likes he likes Maker's Mark whiskey. I like I like. Have you ever had Scotch whiskey? I don't know what that is. Have you ever had like Cuddy Sark nope. or okay. okay but 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 um um we have a friend who always buys we always buy yeah. Jack Daniels and I can handle yeah. it. Yeah. I think I just gotten used to it. But the one that I was like, oh, "Okay, I can actually tell the difference now." And I I can actually like say like, "Huh, this is not this is not <laughs> fucking terrible. This is not going to like, you know, I mean, sure it burns, <laughs> sure it burns going down and sure like you feel warm and and, 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 and and yeah, as far as Jack goes, yeah. But Maker's Mark does less of that, yeah, and a little it, sweeter taste, yeah, yeah. So as far as that goes, yeah. Well, Jack is Jack is actual whiskey. Okay, it's actual ma- and, Well, uh, yeah. no, it's, it, but what, it's not technically bourbon. It's not bourbon. No. Jim Beam is bourbon. Yes. Jim Beam's a little harsher. Like if you go, if you drink Jim Beam over uh, Maker's. You're going to be like, okay. Like you're always like, I can't ever taste the difference. If I gave you a shot of Jim Beam and I gave you a shot of Makers, you're going to be like, I like this one a lot better than I like this one. Uh-huh. Well, there's two, different, there's two different camps. Well. I mean, if you like, if you, if you like Jim Beam, you're going to want it to go for like a rye whiskey. I think that's fine. I have no problems with this. I like rye whiskey. I'm talking about the Strawberry Hill. Oh, well, yeah. No, I'm just saying this, it's two different it does, camps for whiskey. Yeah. This does this does have the strawberry hill though, does have the vinegary smell. Oh God, you know what? This is fucking like like s- Billy soda. Loves it. Billy loves it. It's like I I I, I, I this this is it. fucking amazing. The thing is, <laughs> just just pour this in like the some more ice. drinking it, it's gross. I, I took a whiff of it and I, I just went, dude, just 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 just, just pour just just pour this in ice. And let it, you know, let you know, let it dilute a little bit, and you're fucking great. This is I'm actually I'm actually living this strawberry hill. Strawberry hill. Strawberry oh, hill. Forever. Seventeen. Exactly seventeen. <laughs> it's it, it's, it's times like this that I regret quitting smoking. Uh, <laughs> I have no problems with this, guys. Like seriously, this is just like fuck drinking fucking soda. Yeah. I'm well, sure that's why it's big. Yeah. I can I I, I can taste too much, Billy. <laughs> oh my god. This is this is great. What are you talking about? I knew you'd love it. Did you, you like Crystal Light and Rum? Oh, oh Crystal yeah. Light and Rum. I knew that you would love this because I know how much you love Crystal Light and Rum. I I had a big Rum and Crystal Light thing for a while cuz we oh, cuz uh my dad your dad that bought the Bacardi Rum and I just remember like drinking by myself and oh. getting like blackout drunk. Blackout drunk. drunk. <laughs> On Crystal Light, <laughs> Light and Rum. <laughs> Wait, where was this? And, and that then, had to be a rough hangover. And man. then Steph would come over and say, like, can I offer you some Crystal Light and rum? She's like, no, that's fine. Thanks. I'd rather not die of a hangover. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm good. And I was like, really? Are you sure? Are you sure? Because I got shit tons of Crystal Light and rum if you want it. I've but, had it once or twice. And it was, that's, that was my thing. And the thing is, it oh, got you too gross. drunk. Yeah. Just rum, man. Yeah. Rum, rum is a devil, man. Rum is oh, a devil. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Talking about rum. Talking about... Uh, the theme for the show, I can tell you what my fucking biggest drink underage was. Okay. It was taking shots of Captain Morgan's Spice Rum. Oh, yuck. And I can't drink it anymore. What was the Captain? Then they started, like, really branching out. They got really popular. So then they started having other flavors. That was the one. Do you remember this, anyone? 
Uh, Smiley, you get you um, have yeah, to be well, there. Yeah, well, they have vanilla. They have this uh, vanilla spice rum. They yeah, but the, they had more than that. Oh, oh wait, Captain Morgan's has like all the tropical flavors too. Yeah, they to really compete with uh, Malibu. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. that that so was have, the biggest so one when like I was the, like nineteen. Oh, I remember my friend yeah, in college. My friend in college, he would do Malibu and Mountain Dew. Maladu. <laughs> Actually, that 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 kind of that kind of sounds that no, would work. No, no, it, it was good. That would work. Malibu and Mountain Dew. Absolutely Malibu. not. No, 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 no. What? Not doing the dew. Yeah. Not do the dew. doing the Malibu dew or whatever the fuck. M- Bad. Really? It sounds yeah, good. Yeah, no. Uh, uh, uh. It sounds good. It sounds good. <sighs> Well, what was the okay when you were when you were when you were nineteen, Steph? What was the? What was mine when I was nineteen? Yeah, <laughs> I was my nickname. I didn't start. I really didn't start drinking until like, I would even say mid college. I liked. Okay. I liked drugs. I didn't like alcohol. I liked LSD. I liked cocaine. Well, that's a little hardcore for us. Well, no, but so drinking in high school. Actually, yeah. my nickname in high school was. Queenie, Queen of Space Beers. I'd open one up, get bored. I'd take two sips, oh, immediately get bored. Dead soldier. Yeah, and drop it, leave it, forget about it, and be like, where's your beer? I don't know. And then another one would crack open. And another one bites the dust. Yeah. So truly alcohols. But when I first started drinking, really yeah. drinking. What is the worst? Yeah. What is the worst thing you... I mean, you know, everybody like starts uh, out... Whiskey sour. And to this day, even when I'm at low... Or or at launch yeah. pad or whatever. I like a whiskey sour. If anyone orders whiskey sour immediately, let me see your ID. Oh, I already showed it to the door guy. Uh huh. Let yeah, me see no, your no, ID. Let me see it again. Let me see it again. I'll because do a, I'll a do a cherry drink. vodka sour. That's another one, huh? Yeah, liquid marijuana, uh, Tokyo tea, adios motherfucker. Any of those drinks, I immediately adios, ask. Adios motherfucker. Yeah. Of course. Let me see your ID. Cake. I already showed it oh, to no, the no. door guy. Oh no no. Brain hemorrhage. Let me see your ID. Uh, Three Wise Men, Jumbo G's on a pogo stick. Um, any of these ring true? Three Wise Men was the very first shot I ever took. I did Good it with my God. mom and my godmother. And what, what was your Three Wise Men? Everybody has a different idea of what this shot should be. It was Jack, Jim Beam, and I want to say Jameson. Okay. The version I've ever seen it is. It's Bacardi 151, oh, no, Jägermeister, no, and Rumplemints. No, no. My, what? The, the three That's J's. What That's three That's J's. not even close, man. Yeah. Jack, Jim, and Jameson, and okay. it was fucking horrible. It, you know, and then there was the Four Horsemen, which was those three, but then with Goldschlager. <laughs> that yeah. shot, I remember I started to sip it, and my godmother grabs my arm, and she goes, uh-oh, no, 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 no. You see, this tastes yeah. like shit. You don't sip it. No, you, you shoot, shoot it. it. You shoot it then quick, it, uh, and you get it over another one. Another one you should ask for ID, cement mixer. <laughs> right? Right? That doesn't happen at, at ever at low or launch pad. It might happen at the library at the Bowie Tree. All of those all of the cement mixer. <laughs> right. Um but yeah. Yeah. Don't forget to put the lemon juice in so it those, coagulates. Those are the wee kid drinks. Those are the throw up drinks right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, an amateur drink. Yeah. Then uh or some, some of them could be like if you just want to get really super wasted. Yeah, there's that. Like We'd always get uh, me and Pete would go into the Blackbird and uh, get screaming Nazis. Yeah, but when I, I want to get really is. super wasted, I just immediately just, jump yeah. to shots. Like yeah, just shots. Do in it. General. Well, shots yeah. of Jameson. Shots, 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 shots. But uh, screaming Nazis are so great though, because it's it's like half Jameson and then half Rumplemints. Well, yeah. And man, let me tell you what. That'll do it. Too much. That'll do the trick. You'll lose some friends with that shot. Um. I remember I had a friend. I had a friend Raj. He was he was Indian, from India. He did a thing what he called slapjack, and it was it was a sipping drink. It was three parts. It was Gentleman Jack, Jack Daniels, and Yukon Jack. Okay. And he would drink that. He would order that everywhere he went on ice. When I worked at Pearls before the. Uh, before Blackbird was Blackbird, uh, the bar in there beforehand was Pearl's. Pearl's Dive. And I wor- yeah, Pearl's I Dive. At, I worked at Pearl's Dive. I worked now in the kitchen. That's going to be. And uh, we would do Apple Jacks tomorrow. She would make this, yeah. And they, holy fuck, they were delicious. Apple Jacks are good. They I haven't did heard the that for a while, yeah. Well, Man. and before the library, what was the what was it called before it was the library? And before it was a shitbag bar. Oh, oh it wasn't a shitbag bar before? 
No, no it actually was, it wasn't. It was, was kind it? of a decent dive bar. Yeah. It, yeah, it was a nice place. You could go there, like, get, like, happy hour lunch stuff. Yeah. I mean, I, Crap, was, I don't wouldn't remember necessarily what it was. eat there, but yeah. same friend. I would She bartended now. there, too. And we'd go. She she used to own Bipolar downtown. It was, it was on Gold Street. Um, I think there's a coffee shop. I think the brew is in what Bipolar used to be. Um, okay. Oh, whoa, that's me. Many, many years ago. But it just jammed me yeah, out. Yeah, whatever bar that was. I don't Apple remember. Are, they were, that's a fruity kid's drink, but also really delicious. Yeah, no, it's really good. I'd have I haven't, that. I'm, but now, see, it wouldn't be a fruity kid's drink because no one, no one orders those anymore. Talk on the microphone. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, but um, so, are you excited for uh, the Blackbird reopening? What? There's a place opening Bullshit. there. Bullshit. I didn't say opening there. Moving there. What's opening there? Another brewery? Nope. What? What is it? Bert's Tiki Lounge. Get the fuck out of here. Billy, am I wrong here? Oh, shit, I heard about that. Billy, am I wrong here? Get the fuck out we, of it, here. It's, it's like 99% confirmed that Burt's is going to be moving to uh, the Blackbird, the Blackbird location. Move, move it location. We were there a couple weeks ago, and I heard the, – so, so a guy comes up to me, and he goes, you might know this. Is it true that the Blackbird – that the Burt's is moving? And I was like, I don't know, but I'll find this out. So then I go in the bathroom to pee. And somebody's like, they're like, oh, the toilet's broke. Well, thank God they're moving out of here. And I'm like, whoa. So then I asked the booker. And he goes, well, it's not really common knowledge, but we're, we're probably moving to the Blackbird location. I was like, whoa. Yeah. Good. Well, that's good. They're dying over there. They're dying over there. For they're, they're dying over there because of, no, I don't want to say. I don't want to burn bridges more than I always already do. <laughs> we already can't get a Mad Dog Twenty Twenty sponsorship. Yeah, are, are you? That. Are you kidding? I'm, I'm pretty sure we can. I'm pretty sure we, we pretty can. Sure. We got we T-shirts. Can a Boone's Farm sponsorship. Yeah, we, we yeah. Can, I love the Boone's Farm guys. Who wants some more? We I want some more. Oh yeah, yeah, give me some of that. Fill this up, huh? See, I don't know with like, the the face I made on camera. I, smiley, smiley more. No, I'm okay. No, really? the thing, so is this your favorite of the whole thing, this Billy? Is, this is definitely by far my favorite. Yeah, not sweet, not, not sweet, a, not, not, not yeah, as not not as sweet. No Effervescent. And it's a little, little bubbly. Yeah, um, it's my favorite kind of bubble. And I I would love this on ice, and watching like like a rom com. <laughs> <laughs> and this is this is my shit right here. I think. We should sneak this into a Chinese buffet. I oh, think yeah. I think this is the best way to get laid at my age. You're all you're all I just want a glass with ice in it. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it pink? I have dental so, problems. <laughs> this is the best way to get laid. No, no, at don't, my don't age. Get I, I I was a big fan of Franzia when I was in college too. Ooh, Franzia. So, so you titty. you would you would get like a thirteen dollar like I guess gallon, yeah. like, and it would be in a box. Did you do the slap? We didn't. I never took it out. I was very classy that you way. Never did the box. No, I never, never, bag. never did that. The space so bag. It, it, it would, yeah, it would just sit in the fridge. You go and it's like, oh, I need another drink. And, did you ever drink wine coolers? Um, yes, that was the first time I ever got drunk, but I don't remember what it was. But How I was the a, fuck did what, you get drunk on wine coolers? Was it Bartles and James? Well, I was 16, 17 years old, and um, but I can get fucking fucked up on Franzi. And, I, and the thing is, I would host fucking box wine parties. No shit. Yeah, I, I would. I lived in a trailer in Portales. <laughs> <laughs> like, like out, outskirts of Portales. Like, this is a bad country song. So anyway, I would host fucking I I'm getting a headache box already. wine parties, <laughs> and we had a big freaking 55-gallon trash can oh. just for like just whatever bullshit happened at the party, yeah. and you just take it and just take it to the dumpster. Mm -hmm, or, mm -hmm. and, so, um, was I, I don't even know where I was going with this. But I was like maybe I'm 22, lost. 23. <laughs> I lived in a... Oh, I remember now. Go oh, ahead. let me tell you about the trailer, though. I paid a hundred dollars for rent. Wow! And then I paid fifty dollars car payment uh, for a Geo Metro. Fifty dollars so, car. Payment. So so I had maybe at the most a hundred and seventy five dollars in bills a month. 
and it was a great time to be alive because I just spent the, the excess money. It's on a just... great day to be alive. <laughs> yeah, and just 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 Some imagine just just imagine the surplus you had eye. just for fucking partying because I was at fucking Goober's every weekend. Yeah, we all were. We all were, and it was um like I said, it was so fun. You had a shitty car. You were twenty two, twenty one. And you were working a shitty delivery job at something different, part time, making twelve thousand dollars. He year. was across. The, this is the fucked up thing, is he worked across the street from me. Yeah. When did you work there? I worked there from two thousand, because I worked there during nine eleven. Okay. And all the way okay. up to, all the way up till I moved here. Then yes, which, you worked across the street from me. Oh wow! I worked at Domino's. Which was facing you. We and would you, see out the window. And the thing is, yeah, you know who I'd noticed, though? Fucking Tomb. Tomb. Okay, yeah. I got Tomb the job there. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's funny. So they're like, we need a delivery guy during, during, during the day. We need some delivery drivers during the day. I was like, delivery drivers? How about one? And they're like, well, we need more than one. I go, no, no, what if this guy only works during the day, but he works every day shift? And they're like, you know a guy that would work every day shift during the day? I go, yes. That. Tomb does not have days off. No. He's like, they're like, so you're going to work every day? And he's like, uh-huh. And he did. He worked, he's like, it's just lunch. <laughs> and he did. He worked every day. That, that's how it was when I started at the, uh, at the Blackbird. Like, I started at the Blackbird. Wow. They had four cocktail waitresses and me. They said two of them were on their way out. And then I replaced the other one. And then it was, it was just me. I worked <laughs> every day with two doubles. Wow. Oh, my shit. And then I completely, yeah. For a while there, I trained their entire staff. There was like a, a little period there where the entire staff was like my, my offspring. Yeah. I'm all in here as David Canning. and uh, That's so weird because I, I worked right across the street from Chris. I didn't actually meet him until I moved here to Albuquerque. Right. So I would have a little, before that, I had like a 1979 Scotsa, like a blue truck. It would park on the back of something different. So I would walk out, see Domino's. I'm pretty sure I've seen Chris a shit ton yeah. of times. That's so weird, right? Yeah, it's really weird. We worked maybe 20, like, I'm sorry, 20 yards, yards from, from each, other, from each yeah. other. Yeah, for years and did not meet. meet. That's so weird. Wow. Very weird, yeah. Thank you. A friend. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, I was just watching that today. He was. I showed up and he was like, he's like, I just finished watching Golden Girls. And then Empty Nest comes on right afterwards. <laughs> Do you know, it's a crazy thing about Betty White's is if you see her like young, she is smoking like yeah. so, oh my God. Oh, we were, we were talking about like. So was B. Arthur, I think too. No. Not yeah. We were talking about like who, who, who like greenlit that project. They're all. We were all talking right. about that. Like who was like, you know, this sounds like a good idea. A bunch of old ladies. It's like, all right. In a the house. There, there's a slutty old lady. There's a, a, cr a crabby old lady and her mom, and there's Betty White. Oh, did you say Betty White? Hey, yeah, yeah, go with it. And Betty White's like the dumb, dumb bitch, right? She, she's the she's the nice southern she's the gal. Bumpkin. She's you the do not call Betty White the dumb bitch. <laughs> yeah, okay. she's the bumpkin. She's the she's, bumpkin. Yeah, she's the nice southern gal. <laughs> oh yeah, she, no, she's from uh, Saint 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 Olaf, Minnesota. So yeah, I, I do. Yeah, she, okay. I'm sorry, Betty White. Would you call Kenneth the dumb prick? <laughs> Yeah, Kenneth. who's Kenneth? I, I like him. Oh, there you are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I always like. What, what is the name of God that he always says? He never says God. He's like, um, don't take him, Joseph or, <laughs> or Stephen or, or so. Yeah, I can't remember the name. Yeah. Jo yeah, Joseph or something. It's something weird. Yeah. <laughs> I love Kenneth of Thirty Rock. Yeah, I do too. That's right. Thirty Rock itself is a whole nother thing. I love. 30 Rock. I'm sorry, better. I didn't mean to call you a dumb bitch, but. <laughs> Yeah, take wow. I take it back. Take it back. It's, it's, her, birthday. Back. it's, it's her, her birthday. birthday. Oh. Shut your mouth. We share the same It's birthday. weird that you have the same birthday as my sister and my nephew. Billy, you have the same birthday. Billy, you have the same birthday. I'm not kidding you. Is I want to say like seven or eight of my friends today. Like yeah, there's a lot of people. members, yeah. friends, famous people. Like you. Yeah. There were a lot of babies born. <laughs> yeah. Well, we we figured this out though. We were also like you know we're we're basically the product because there's a lot of people who have birthdays in this like window here, mm -hmm. and it's that whole you know our you know a lot of people fucking in that summertime. 
Yeah. Or that, that spring, I'm sorry, spring. Spring horniness. Spring horniness, dude. It was, was I didn't believe in it until Chris told me. And then I was like, it's not real. But oh, it's, it's real. It's oh, fucking what? real. It's totally real. It's, it's fucking so real. real. People, people are horny in the spring, and I didn't believe it until Chris told me. And, and I was like, they're cold in the winter. Yeah. And that's why summer babies come along. That's true. <laughs> See, I always felt sorry for the summer babies, because like, you don't get a fucking birthday party like that your friends all can come to. Yeah, but you're also not stuck at school. That's true. Mine always, like, I would have my birthday party, and we'd have to move it, because it snowed. <laughs> it always <laughs> snowed. See, my birthday is the day that, that music died. Oh, God. I hate that fucking song. Yeah, no, it is. The, the, before the song. You hate that song? Yeah, I do. I actually hate You that hate song American too. Pie. I, I hate do. that song, too. I'm One of the greatest rock and roll song. songs of all time. I so hate <laughs> I hate that song. It's the worst song ever. And I, you and I actually have quite similar tastes and wow. huge nostalgia, like like heart pulling, wow. like all that. All Smiley, do you hate that stuff? song too? Fuck that song. Uh, I don't know. I'm not. I, I can give or take. And that's um, son of a bitches. What, what's his name? Don McLean. Don McLean. Okay, yeah. He he made it famous on that song, and then it, he hated fame, and so he stopped. Fucking Bible thumping. Bible thumping. Can't stand him. That's a great song. This is weird. so wrong. But it's not, I, I'm not talking about that song in general. I actually am born on the day that music died, the day they actually crashed oh, okay. the plane. Okay. February 3rd, the big bopper, Buddy Holly, the Ridgey Valens all died. Yeah. February yeah, 3rd. Sure. So that's actually, you know, for a while there, I mean, what you're not understanding in the history of music was is they were like the big shit. Like they were like, you know, they were the it. I am understanding. No, you don't understand. Holy fucking, <laughs> I am understanding. I love the history of rock and roll, you fucker. No, I know. Yes, I do understand. But, you know, I, I, I really, song, it's really but... weird because we always talk about the Beatles. We always talk about the Stones. Um, we talk about Elvis. But Buddy Holly is like lost in the, in, the, in the mire of that. And Buddy Holly was like one of the big first motherfuckers that was like, you know. He was pretty cool. He was big shit, you know. Buddy Holly and the Crickets, and uh, Elvis loved him. The Beatles, lo- they all, they, they all loved that shit. And uh, that's pretty know. good. Man, I got gypped. No one famous got par- got was born on my birthday or died. I had a good famous one on my birthday. I have a good famous one on my birthday. It was Joe Strummer, August twenty first. Oh, that's, that's tight. That's, that's tight. That's a good one. That's a good one. Like the only two good ones on mine are like Gary Oldman and Matthew Broderick. Dude, Gary Oldman's totally badass. Yeah, but they have thirty-five choices, and out of t- <laughs> out of that, I'm like, I don't know who these people are. Oh wait, Gary Oldman, awesome. Matthew Broderick, I'll take it. Weird. All I know is 2016 so far has been kind of a downer of a year. Disagree. Um, it's it's still it's still it's still. A lot of people have died, man. Yeah, no, I agree. That one I know. So you're happy with the deaths. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> so Snape's dead. Bowie's out. I don't know these Fuck people. Lemmy. Just trolling. Just Fuck trolling. Lemmy. Mm-hmm. Lemmy was a wait. Lemmy was a was a stealing. I think every beginning of the year. And, 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 you know, it's 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 kind of this year has been. Uh, it's a gri- brutal start. Grizzly Adams died. Come it's on, a man. Start. Fucking Grizzly Adams. I'm having a good time though. It's 2016. Yeah, I'm, this is a great year, man. I, you know, I started off great. Came out. Like, spent, there, there, like, people two die. Years in Portland. Yes, I already have a do, movie but, yeah, coming a, up. And it's a good year for it's me. It's personally. a freaking great year. Fuck. Yeah. Sorry. A bunch of people I don't know died. Who cares? David Bowie, <laughs> brother. I've never I, read him. I've never met him either. <laughs> Damn, you guys are hard. Actually, though, here's the thing, though. Yeah, I've never met him, but and and which is why, generally speaking, I do not trip out or no fuck all for celebrity trivia or whatever yeah. have you but to me david boy he i mean yeah he was he was a celebrity but he was a profound artist yeah <laughs> and it, his death it, it it still affects me yeah. i still even in this second i feel my throat start to close up the same way when jim henson died that same oh, way that uh, that's of a big just one. like no i didn't know you but the thing is is that what he did as an artist I did get to know him. I make art. I put well, my insides on the outsides. People see it. They get a little yeah. bit piece of me. And that man, yeah, we all got a little well, bit piece well, of him. I mean, so he was not a stranger okay, Jim to Henson, me. When did Jim Henson die? 
Oh God! Uh, fuck! I don't remember the a, year. A long time. A long ago. time ago. I don't remember and, the and year. And yet, it's still here. We but still it have is Jim like Jim Henson, David Brian Bowie, H- Lou Brian Reed. Henson, uh, Those are the three big artists, celebrity artists. Jim Henson died in 1990. I cried, cried, cried. He died in 1990, cried. but yet Jim Henson's work has affected us so much that it still exists in newer forms to this day. It's, it's and like, the, the brand name is still his signature. Still yeah, his signature. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember seeing him on TV and when he died. I was like, man, that was, prof- that was actually really a big thing. I cried. Yeah. And I was a kid, so if that was, I mean, I knew I no, was No, I agree. Young, it, it was weird. Was yeah. Grade. Well, I mean, between the Muppet that Show was 25 and, uh, years ago. Sesame Street. And now Sesame Street's on HBO. Fraggle Rock. Fraggle, Fraggle Rock. Rock. Dark Crystal. See, uh, Dark Crystal. okay. Story. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do I don't know. Yes, his, yeah. some of the characters, yes. Um, um, the he, Labyrinth. Labyrinth. <laughs> um, so, for me, David Bowie, as an artist... I've only come into as an older adult into liking his stuff. The person for me that will, if they die, will be my David Bowie, will be Bob Dylan. When Bob Dylan dies, I will be an absolute just... And there's people who are like, well, that's stupid. That's the, and I'm like, no, that's just... That was, that was my childhood. That was my, you know... It shaped my life. I'm upset right now, and he hasn't even died. You know, it's like that shaped everything that I know musically, my mind, you know, and it's like, so when people are like, oh, David Bowie died, I was like, really shocked. Even the people who were the haters on Facebook did not hate on the David Bowie thing. No. Raven Chacon, who is a hater when celebrities die, Mm -hmm. he will shit all over it. He was like, upset. Yeah. And I was like, wow, this is a big deal, you know, it was like, you know. It was because he bothered to like, oh, like, oh, wow, he released a new album, that's great. Oh, Yeah, the Friday before he died. And How put brave. out, How brave. and put out a music video. He's like, all did right, you see the right. music video? All right, I'm dying. Let's get this done. Have to get did, it out of my. Did system. you see the video? No, I haven't. It's pretty rough. I won't. I haven't watched it. I won't. It's pretty rough. Yeah, not ready. Oh yeah, well no. I mean, it's pretty rough. You know, I'm not. I, I'll, 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 I'll wait, okay. I'll wait uh, to look at it because I mean, it's the same thing as like you know, like the same year that uh, Johnny Cash put out his last. That's what album. I was gonna say. It's it's like, it's uh. the same video to me. It's his version of Hurt. Like where you saw that music video, and you were like, "Wow, this that is was a really sad video." Really sad. This is. Yeah, have you seen the, the David Bowie one? I listened to it. The thing is, like, have you I, watched I, the video I, though? No, I it's listened to that song. Very sad. It's called uh, Lazarus. Yeah, mm-hmm. I listened to the song today. It's a good song. Well, and like, actually, I was listen, listening to a lot of that yeah. Black Star album today. It's so good. It's 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 crazy experimental. Yeah, and let's say like David Bowie, like it's as much yeah. as David Bowie is as a songwriter, like. How he tries to be out there, it, it, mainly aesthetically, he was just like badass. But this is actually the first time I've heard like fucking like him doing like some crazy fucking music shit. Yeah. And the thing is, I, I know the hits. And um, did it affect me? Did David Bowie's death affect me all that much? <clears throat> I don't think anyone's death affects me really all that much. Really. So like, I would say like, um, if anything, like it was probably Joy Ramone's death that should have affected me the most. Yeah. But then it, you know, like I. I would say the last time someone's death affected me that was really famous was when John Denver died. Oh, really? I was very upset. Yeah, because I was. I'm, I'm a huge John Denver fan. I love this. I like every, John Denver. You know, I celebrate his entire catalog. You know, the <laughs> only time, the only time a uh, a celebrity death like actually like hit me was uh, Phil Hartman. Oh, that, that yeah. Phil you Hartman, like, he, he's mentioned that plenty of times, too. Like, that's, that's why, why it's, that it's, person? <laughs> it's, it's the only time, though. I was like, dude, did, did Phil Hartman died? I was like, no. Oh. He was, uh, he was different. Like, if, if you grew up watching SNL every week. Which I did. Which I did. Phil Hartman was there every week. He was there, doing whatever. And, and he killed it every week. Whatever he did, with if he was background, <laughs> he was background. Was, yes, yes. Um, he was doing his own skit. Oh my gosh! I remember, I was very sad when he left SNL, and he went and he was doing talk radio, news radio. News, yeah, news radio. The reason why I was sad is because on news radio he could only do one character, <laughs> and I was sad about that. I was like, that guy was so versatile, and he brought us so much joy. Now. Only this character. I was like, wow, that's that sucks for him, because he seemed like that guy that was like, you know, so, 
And oh, but no, he kept showing up in other like SNL. Yeah, he stuff. did. He came back, yeah, because he was just that guy. Because he had to. Yeah, and I, like, I don't, and movies fan. and stuff. He just played yeah. a character in like I, someone else's movie. When, I was. I would say with that death, it was really sad because I was. I was. I was a big. Um, Simpsons fan at the time, and when oh, he can't yeah. ha- when he don't have Lionel Hutz there, it's Lionel Hutz, of, he had two or three. Yeah, uh, he was the Duff Man. He was. Uh, yeah, I like when he, I like when he, he was, was the attorney. Is that Lionel Hutz? Lionel, yeah, he's yeah. The okay. Then he was also the the guy who did the infomercials. You might remember me from other. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that's Lionel Hutz though. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did the lawyer that was down on his luck because, like, whenever he was like sleeping, they touched him and he pulled out his knife. He's like, "Don't touch my stuff." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that that that's a, you're thinking of Gil. Gil was somebody else. Well, he let's like, see. What oh. was was voices of t- Phil Hartman on The Simpsons? And then he was also with that that um, the uh, pretentious cap, like space captain with the short shorts on uh, Futurama. Uh, Shit, I don't remember that. No, he wasn't. I'm pretty sure he wasn't. That was, no, you, you that think, was not him. Are you sure? Yes. I'm pretty sure. You're thinking of, um, what's his name? Zach Brannigan? On, right? Yeah, that, it, it was Zach, Zach Brannigan, but it was not Phil Hartman. They, they, I, feel, I feel like they were trying to achieve a Phil Hartman, but that was not him. Well, well, I, but, I, know there's, I know there was someone on Futurama that they had to replace his voice with when they... Uh, <clears throat> when they and maybe it. Well, maybe it was him. I don't know, but but anyway, Lionel Hutz was badass. Hell yeah! <laughs> no, because but, but Lionel Hutz wasn't the the guy who did the infomercials though. Uh, you might remember me from such infomercials as "Don't touch the hot stove." <laughs> yeah, you know? I do remember that guy. Oh God, he was like a celebrity. Yeah, uh, God. Troy McClure. Yeah, Troy McClure. <laughs> <laughs> this is Troy McClure. You might remember me from such <laughs> yes movies. As... He had that great voice. <laughs> he has a great fucking voice. It's so good. I was. I just remember being like, that sucks that they're like you know that that shit's gone. It won't happen ever again on The Simpsons. No, because the thing is, I think I used to watch a lot of The Simpsons. Well, just all the SNL shit, man. When he was like uh, Tarzan. Frankenstein and unfrozen caveman lawyer. Unfrozen ca- I'm just a caveman. I'm I'm not used to your ways. <laughs> oh, those were so good. Uh, those were so good. Unfrozen or uh, fro- uh, unfrozen caveman lawyer. Arr, fire scares me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I I won't. Okay, when I say celebrity, that don't affect me that much. But I I will say that. Watching that Johnny Cash um, hurt, hurt, yeah, that did make that, me. That, that, well, that, that video gets to you. It, like, it, holy it does shit. get to me. Here's the characters who was on The Simpsons: Lionel Hutz, Troy McClure, Heavenly Voice, Bart gets hit by a car, Mr. Muntz, Lyle Laneley, Evan Conover, Tom, Smooth Jimmy Apollo, Horst, Fat Tony. <laughs> he was Fat Tony. The really? Godfather, yeah. Bill I thought Fat Tony was um, fucking. Uh, it could be. I mean, right. you know, it all depends. Bill Clinton, Plato, Moses, the cable guy, Charlton Heston, stockbroker, and Johnny Tightlips. <laughs> Johnny Tightlips. <laughs> he was killed in '98. God, brutally, yeah. mur- brutally murdered. Brutally. He was 49. God damn, man, that's terrible. Happens if you marry a crazy person. Yeah, but she was hot. She's hot. She's crazy hot. Crazy, crazy hot. Crazy hot. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, what do you guys think? Was the was the Mad Dog a, a success? Was the would you ever drink it again? I would never drink it again. It's it's something I can understand, like, like kids drinking. It's, it's fucking. It's super sweet. It's like you're taking a shot of fucking sugar. Yeah. Like I should be in a diabetic coma right now from that shit. Right. God damn. Like, but the formaldehyde's keeping you alive. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's keeping you awake. <laughs> the Boone's Farm. I did like. I would like to put that on ice and, like yeah. I said, sit here and just watch. Like just sip. <laughs> just sip and like, you know. Just simp. Yeah, and simp. Yeah, it's a good simp drink. You'd buy that it's for the day of simp. The day of simping. Hey, cheers. Cheers. 
Cheers. Happy Cheers. Four, happy fourth Wait, day of yeah, Belmas. Happy, happy birthday to Billy Belmont. <laughs> it's the fourth happy day. It's the day of Take a Lover, or we call it the day of Sam. If you guys want to uh, send Billy a gift, just write into info at tendrickbenamup.com. We will tell us what you want to send him, and we'll send you an address. Right? You should totally do it. Yeah. Uh, what do you guys uh, think? Uh, I think we're we're kind of. I think we're done. I think we're kind of exhausted. Our, yeah, our, our, uh, we've exhausted our reds. <laughs> yeah, the uh, really. The, Not for long. The, the, oh, the, the, the thing about the bum wine is, it really takes you out. It takes it out of you. It takes it out. You take yeah. That's the yeah. So yeah, if I could take anything from the bum wine, it, it'll put you into a, a yeah a, a little coma. I like to drink, but you know when I'm poor, I'll, I'll just go without. I mean, I I really can do that. I don't have an. I'm you know people go. Oh, do you think you have an alcohol problem? No, I don't have to drink, and I surely don't have to drink that. Oh, you know, any of that. I don't have to drink ever. You know, I just you know, shake a lot. Now, there's and I some, don't. There's some, yeah, <laughs> there's some times when I'm like, you know, I don't have a lot of money. What can I get the most of for the amount of money I have? And there's never a day where I need to get to that ever. Yeah. And neither should any of you. <laughs> if you're on a treadmill, we did this so you guys don't have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> here's the thing. It's you're very welcome. Here's the thing. It's 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 a funny drunk and it doesn't taste good. But you guys get the full experience tomorrow when you wake up. Oh God, I hope not. I'm gonna drink a lot of I'm water. I'm actually not even buzzed. Fuck off. I mean, I, I guess I kind of feel it, but like I said, I mean, my stomach's also full of prime rib. Yeah. You have a good Mine buffer. Is not. That means it's gonna start hitting you like once you digest that prime rib. Dead. <laughs> Billy Belmont all, dead. <laughs> you're real. Oh my God. Did death hit me really hard? Billy Belmont's death hard. All I know is I have to pee. And all right. Um, so this Tuesday, if you're available in the Albuquerque metro area, come out to uh, the pints are too damn high. Two dollar pints, and uh, what do you call it? Uh, open mic. It's an open mic. Yeah. James Smiley will be hosting. Billy, what do you got? We got. Just say what you got. Um, I got a show on the 24th for the Sunday Distillery 365 Brunch. I have a show on the 20th at Tractor Wells Park. And then the 30th nice. for the 10 Drink Minimum uh, live show. The 10 Drink Minimum birthday show. Burf. Um, I will be at Distillery 365 this Tuesday, this Wednesday, for Cards Against Humanity. Come out. We have Irrational Pie Food Truck there. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good times, huh? Um, hopefully everybody was paid this week and can come out and spend some money. So, cool. And, uh, the thing on Tuesday, Smiley is the host. I'm the co-host. Really? I'm hosting this? Yeah. You said you've hosted an open mic before, right? I don't... Oh, yeah. Over I, I, don't, I can't imagine a lot of people. But we should promote it. Did you promote it? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I'm on Facebook. I don't have like, well, a cool. or anything yet. Sweet. But we'll you see how it goes. You don't have Peach yet? Nice. I know. I know. I'm just, I'm, 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 lame. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, so then uh, we have our show on the 30th. Uh, if you'd like to go to that, please hit us up with a message, and we will definitely add the invite. It's going to be invite only. And we're going to do a live birthday show, Billy, me, and then we're going to have his band, the Pee Wees, play afterwards, and that's going to be downtown. Downtown Albuquerque. Oh. We have a venue. And also, um, if you want to go to our open mic, uh, feel free to yeah, show up. G- feel free to uh, show up, or I mean, you can post on the event page. Yeah. So we know to expect you. Yeah. So sweet. Uh, other than that, go to tendrinkminimum.com, add us on all the social media, and uh, please don't drink Mad Dog 2020. Ever. Ever. Unless you're me. And with that, <laughs> we are Tendrink Minimum. <laughs>